and welcome back to Strange Town of Golden Ridge. This is a uh, tabletop role-playing game set in the Savage Worlds system uh, using a homebrew game created, written, directed by uh, Mr. Pickles. So Mr. Pickles is going to be our storyteller, dungeon master, game master, however you want to refer to him, um, for tonight's game. This is an ongoing series, so there is a whole series you guys can catch over on the YouTube channel. Um, I highly encourage you to do that. We actually had someone do that recently uh, enjoyed it so much that they have now joined the game. I'd like to do a real quick shout out to Daisy, uh, who will introduce their character, kind of bring them in uh, here in a minute. But in the meantime, uh, I'm joined by uh, Fred, Daisy, myself, and then obviously Mr. Pickles. Um, huge shout out to them. Thank you guys for, for coming in today. Hopefully you guys, the viewers, enjoy this episode. If you do, leave a like, comment, any questions, comments, concerns, and we will discuss it hopefully in an upcoming Under the Table that we will have, maybe. And um, I think that's all I got for you guys. I'm going to pass it off to Mr. Pickles. I am Mr. Pickles, and uh, I am the storyteller this evening, of course. And uh, yeah, we're getting back into it in the midst of this adventure where our party is looking for the source of some strange alcohol. And uh, at the end of the last session, you guys got into a bit of a difficult situation. Um, some of you going a bit, a bit crazy with rage and shotgunning a man down. Um, one of you was just getting headshots left and right, um, getting some good shots on creatures and taking them down. You were being swarmed, but it was manageable. Um, and full auto is, uh, is an easy way to miss every single shot at somebody, I guess. That's what I did on my end. Uh, but while that was happening, other things were going on around in the town of Golden Ridge. Uh, everything is sort of moving about. Er, different organizations are having their own influences and their own investigations into different things. And one of those different instances is with our new player here, Daisy. Um, the only one who hasn't had a character introduction, but I thought maybe it'd be good to do a few quick lines, starting with, uh, with Wrath, just to introduce character so it's fresh in everybody's minds then we'll go to fred and then we can start up with where daisy has been absolutely i'm playing kingsman formerly known as travis king um i am a oh shit i just realized we i i forgot to change my edge of connection cops that's my bad i'll work on that later uh in the meantime uh i am a basically Former bail bonds agent, uh, kind of a modern day bounty hunter, currently somewhat unemployed, acting as a private investigator, even though I'm really not, not licensed or anything like that. Um, I am an alien hunter, which is not a real profession, uh, but basically I've been through some shit since arriving in this town. I'm paranoid the fuck out. There's some evil shit here and I'm going to shoot it in the face. Uh, I'm very curious, which is kind of driving this for me to investigate these things. But I'm also very reliable, so I'm bringing along my friends and protecting them as best I can. Uh, one of those people being Jesse uh, Thatcher, and then someone who isn't my friend also joining us, Frederick Verde. Uh, so I'm, harsh. I'm, I'm Fred. I play Frederick Verde. Um, I am Rat's uh, frenemy, uh, or Kingsman's <laughs> frenemy. Fred is my friend! <laughs> he, he also steals all my stuff. What? So does that help? Um, I am a detective in the great great town of Golden Ridge. Um, although I seem to be at the bottom rung of the ladder, and not having a good time with different uh cases being tossed to me that may or may not always end up being of the paranormal sort, and then get the te credit taken from me by somebody else. Although I'm very good friends with the guy that works in the morgue. <laughs> That's true. Um, and with that, uh, Daisy, you want to give a few lines about your character? Sure. Um, I play Iris Forsyth. She is a newly graduated ER surgeon. Um, she works as a radio host at late nights. And uh, she's grown up in Golden Ridge, and as things have gotten more and more wild, she's kind of decided that something needs to be done about it. 
Yeah, and you you had mentioned that there was a reason in your background. I won't say it out loud if you don't want mm -hmm. it to be shared, but there was a reason that you are sort of looking for things that are going yeah, on. Yeah, I, I can say that. Um, okay. Well, both of her parents have been impacted by this. Her father went dis went camping and he disappeared, um, which is very out of character because he was like a professional outdoorsman, and her mother was like inducted into the mines a couple months ago and so she's like parentless and she's kind of searching for direction and wants to find wherever her parents went that's perfect so let's dive into where would iris forsyth be at about 11 a.m on uh what day were we on uh i believe we were like midweek weren't we god i don't remember i don't have it in my let's notes. say it's wednesday 11 a.m wednesday uh late november Got it. That's a good question. She'd probably be at the coffee shop. Coffee shop. All right. Um. So you're at the coffee shop. What 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 does Iris buy there? Just straight black coffee, or? Yeah, she'd probably go for a, like an espresso or something with a ton of caffeine. Okay. Yeah, definitely. They have a, a variety of different drinks that are all highly packed in caffeine, but. Um, you're going for something a little bit more plain than um, extravagant. Mm -hmm. Okay, that works. Um, so you're at the coffee shop, um, as would be the normal instance. Um, you you do a a radio show. Mm -hmm. When and when do you have the radio show? Like, what hour block do you have, or several hour block? It's like a two hour show, pretty late. It's sometimes at like midnight. Uh, I think it would probably vary depending on her shifts, but it's definitely late because it's like a, a sort of a fringe show. It's about like conspiracy theories and the strange happenings and all that type of stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. So, would your character then like do the show, go home, sleep, and then you're waking up at 11? Or are you staying probably, awake yeah. and then you go to sleep later? Well, her sleep is probably chaos. Um, That's fair. So for right now, she'd probably just be waking up. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so you're waking up. You have your uh, espresso drink. Um, you're, you're probably just trying to get your bearings and then try and figure out what, what the plan is for this day. When some odd-looking weirdo approaches you, it's this I... wrinkly old man. Oh. And he just, he's about, about like uh, maybe five foot three, maybe. He, okay. He's fairly short. Um, and he just approaches you, uh, sort of balding on top, but he has a little bit of hair still, uh, white. And he says, excuse me, um, miss. Hello? Okay, good, good. Do, do you remember me? Should I? I don't recognize you. Well, that, that is good luck for me. That makes things easier here. Uh, look, I knew your mother or something, we'll say. And uh, look, I need to ask you a favor. No promises, but tell me, what do you need? Well, you see, there's a, a trap that I know about. And, you know... It's the sort of thing where if you tell the police in this town about it, they won't do a thing. <laughs> uh, but um, I'm hoping perhaps you can help out. Okay. I've heard some rumors on the radio from your mouth, uh, I presume, <laughs> that uh, you know how to solve things. Yeah, that's, that's the goal. Uh, okay, well then you understand. The lambs are going to the slaughter, and... I will pay for you to make sure they do not get slaughtered. All right. This is very cryptic. Uh, well, but... yes. um, I will give you an address sure, I'll help. and a time. Okay. And make sure you are on time. Okay. Just okay? She's just super suspicious that at this point she's following any lead she has. I look, I I said it was a favor, but he, he, aren't you at least going to ask for money? 
Well, you said you'd pay, so. Yeah. How much oh. are you paying? How much is going to confirm that you'll actually go to this place? The address you're looking at it, you know that it's, it's on the outskirts of town. One and the time. million dollars. The time is very late at night. Um, Certainly after dark. I'd say at least a thousand. Okay. How about a thousand then? Sure. He says, uh, but uh, well, I'll give you half now because I know your uh, sorts might need money to fund things. Um, and I'll give you half once you've made sure the lambs are not slaughtered. He reaches into his uh, weird, like, he's got what looks like a brown trench coat, but as he reaches in, you can see that there's a lot of pockets. He just grabs a, a, like a bundle of bills, puts it on the table for you. It looks like about $500. It's all 100, okay. so that's not really that much of a bundle. It's more of like a stack of five mm -hmm. bills. Yeah. Should probably count it, just just to be sure. You easily can. It looks real-ish. I mean... Ish? <laughs> yeah, you can like hold okay. it up. It looks... There's nothing that says this <laughs> is uh, theater money only, or for movie production. Yeah. So late at night? Yeah, um, yeah, I believe about, um, what time did we end last game session? So I was trying to remember, I was actually going to watch some of that before we got into today's session, but I didn't have time. Um, we, did we end like at the of... farm? You, you ended at the farm. It was after dark. Yeah. Um, yeah. and I believe you had gotten pizza and you'd waited and I want to say it was about yeah. 11 PM. Yeah, and then, yeah, mm -hmm. they showed up, yeah, we yeah. took them out, and that's where we ended, was there, yeah. Yeah, um, so it's, a let's say, a 11 p.m. on his scrap of paper. It says, are you sure that this is enough to make you go there? How much danger is this? I, I mean... Uh, all sorts of dangers in this town. Um, it is the hills after dark. You must know. You must think that this is probably a drug thing. It's not. There's just two men I don't want to have die yet. Why can't they die yet? Because they uh, still serve a purpose, yeah. What kind of purpose? He squints his eyes at you. I mean, maybe this was a mistake. You, 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 you thinking people often ask too many questions. Well, I'm a thinker and a doer, so. I'll go. A thousand will be enough. Now yes. I'm more curious than anything else. Oh, well, excellent. F 500 now, and, uh, I'm kind of your neighbor, um, so. I'll I'll put five hundred in your mailbox once you've brought them to safety. I should move. <laughs> Do you say that to him, <laughs> or just out loud? Yes. And he says, yeah. uh, "You probably should. It's a bad place." Yeah, it is a bad place. And with that, he kind of turns and walks right out of the coffee shop. I don't think he actually bought any coffee. Weird. Yeah, you, you probably finish up your espresso and you're likely at a point where you're making plans for what you'd like to do leading up to that point while our mm -hmm. other crew is rushing around like maniacs. Um, I gave everybody a free vehicle. <laughs> yeah, you guys used a Ouija board. <laughs> I did no such thing. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is wacky nonsense of all sorts of things. You were hanging out, trying to find ghosts. Um, well, in a different way. You weren't at all. Okay, anyways. Um, so while they're doing that, um, I gave each player a vehicle for free. It's just your, your basic vehicle. I, I don't remember seeing what vehicle you picked. What, what, do you, what do you have? She has a kind of older truck that she probably got from her father. Like um, a really old, just like a Chevy pickup truck. 
Gotcha. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Um, you can always spend money to upgrade your vehicle if you'd like to, or mm -hmm. buy um, improved vehicles. Unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. It'd be interesting. But... Do you have a unicycle? No, absolutely not. <laughs> that would <can't> be dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the king's been riding it on a unicycle with a little like uh, uh, horn. Well, I mean, you would you'd be able to just hold a gun because there's no handles. <laughs> yeah, that would go real well. You just, well, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay, yeah. So you can use your pickup truck to get around, and you know that you can get to the location at eleven uh, ish. Um, but what would you like to do? Namely, is there anything you want to prepare? Anything you want to purchase? Or uh, any earlier time that you want to go? Well, um, due to the fact that like her main weapon is a big hunting rifle, she would probably have to like go home and get that because at this point she's not just carrying it around. Probably a good but idea. But if she's going into danger, she's you know she's gonna want that. Um, she would probably just probably stay home and see if she can figure out anything like research and see if she can find out anything about these strange two men if she has heard anything like maybe ask her neighbor you yeah, know old, old like dude that. didn't really give much information about who they were mm -hmm. or who he was yeah just a group of two important men two random guys that, that are out. important for some reason i'm a random guy go save yeah. two other random guys okay okay later yeah um, I mean, because like no one else is really doing anything about anything in the city. Everyone else is just kind of acting like it's not happening. So two people doing something would stand out. Yeah, and you, you can at least look up the, the like the location. Um, looking it up mm -hmm. online, it is uh, not no longer used, but it was farmland. Um, it burned down recently. There's a big fire, and uh, yeah, now nobody's really out there. It's um, there's probably been a few arrests for like people trying to make meth out there and stuff like that, but um, mm -hmm. otherwise, it's secluded. It's up in the woods, and uh, nobody should be there. Um, it was owned by the Yuskowski family, who still technically owns the land, so anybody there would be trespassing um, if they were not a okay. Yuskowski. Just so I'm but... tracking this right, it's 11 a.m., right? Um, for her. Um, okay. of the day that you guys were doing everything before heading, so I think you're uh, at. Um, we're ahead of her. Got it. You're you're with yeah. Verde right now, stealing his fridge. Yeah, pretty sure. Oh, I thought you were gonna react to that. No, that that's was... accurate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I I'm still muted. So, <laughs> well, you can unmute if, if you want to say something. Yeah, you just stay muted the whole stream. <laughs> that's that's basically what I've been told to do. I mean, I don't know what. Well, no, no. I mean, like when you have something to say, but uh, like if if uh, you're just listening and the TV's gone, I don't hear the TV now. But yeah, I mean, it, it's paused or something right now, so I can yeah. I can talk freely for once. I'll do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, as long as it's just not, I, I'm fine with TV and and you. Um, it's just not uh, just TV with Raph. <laughs> I All guess right, I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, um, uh, yeah, we we got derailed here. Yeah, it's eleven a.m. Um, she's having coffee with mm -hmm. creepy men. Uh, yeah. I guess. Well, he he didn't really have coffee with her. You had coffee. He approached. Uh, and then you went home. Of course, you looked things up. Um, mm -hmm. your home. Was the older apartment, you said, across from uh, a yeah. certain person you don't quite know maybe yet? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so it's a, a creaky old building, but it serves its purpose. And um, yeah, you're able to research on your computer that I presume you have there. And um, mm -hmm. that's basically all you find was the information about the Yuskowski farms, um, a few crimes, nothing too serious. Well, I would guess meth is a little serious, but... Um, uh, yeah, you have reason to believe that there might be uh, nefarious individuals there. 
but otherwise you should just find some empty buildings. Okay. Maybe there's people who are wounded there. Well, it's a good thing she knows how to help us. So I presume you take so most of would, your loadout? Yeah, medical supplies. She would probably get quite a bit of that. All right. Yeah, because you do have your medic kit, so I know you've mm -hmm. got a case of some kind that you can bring. Um, do you want to head out there and arrive on time per the request, or do you want to try and arrive early? A little bit early. What's the plan, uh, arriving early? Are, are you going to try and sort of uh, go up front, um, or are you going to like stop a distance away to get a overview? Definitely stop a while a while back, especially because of like the range that she can see with uh, using her gun. Yeah, just that makes sense. Like, scope out the situation before just diving in. Yeah, um, so I'm going to move over to the map as you drive out of town to get there a little bit early. Um, let's see. It's this place. Um, and before I put you there, um, so the ride out of town is pretty uneventful, but basically what it is is it's a small town. There's a, there's a rather decent-sized river that flows through part of the town. Uh, and then it goes into more rural areas. And as the rural areas start to become more and more forest in between, that's when you know you're getting to the hills. You're going up in elevation. There's a lot of forest around. And there are some areas where there are like pockets of fields, like areas where there's really fertile land that maybe once were lakes and such. But um, for the most part, it's a lot of forest with those little pockets. Um, as you're going up in the hills, those pockets become more and more rare, but this is the situation where you find another one of them. This address brings you to this area as you are driving through in nightfall. Um, you realize that on your last turn, you're going to be going down a straight road, and then you're going to turn to one of the farms. Like, there's a straight line, multiple farmhouses and, and areas that are fenced off. So, you can stay in the trees here, and you'll have the cover of trees. Um, but once you go down into the field areas, then you you won't be able to hide your vehicle too too well. Um, mm. So I presume you probably stop there unless you'd like to go forward more. Yeah, yeah um, she would definitely park there. All right. Um, and and getting out, you can scope things out. But roll me a, a notice roll to fix pick things up. Do I even know how to do that? I this is the time to learn to roll. Um. Let's see. Okay. Did I do the thing? Yes, okay. you did. Okay. Um, so this three. situation, you got a two and a three. Um, the goal to get here is a four. Four, yeah. So this would be a fail, but you can spend a Benny. Mm -hmm. um, I, I always forget to say Bennies. Um, so each session, I give you a fresh round of Bennies. Um, they all stack. You probably know this since you've seen some episodes. Um, mm -hmm. You have standard luck, so you get three Bennies. Man, it's so nice having someone who actually watched the episodes and kept up to date on the lore <laughs> and stuff. Crazy. I think I'll use one. All right, go ahead and roll. Yes. And a four a is four. good enough here. Um, you can pick up that there is activity. Um, and uh, what it looks like is that there is somebody huddled behind boxes. Um, you pick up a strange... It, it, I want to say energy because it kind of makes your heart tingle a little bit. That there's something uh, almost magnetic over there. Um, you also pick up with that that there are things crawling around in the fields. Um, like as you're looking out there, you can see that there's a figure uh, behind the boxes and then a, a shift like a snake in the grass. He's okay. There are things in this field. Um, and this is probably the point where um, the actions unfold from last game, where um, in this darkness, a giant beam of light uh, blasted into um, the truck that had brought uh, somebody who we shotgun blast. Because, uh, uh, yeah, it, what had happened is the vehicle had come down the road, um, and this is probably something you see from your hiding spot, is a vehicle quickly going down the road. It pulls up, beam of light, um, blast of shotgun. Um, you guys, you're, you're hearing noise down there. 
And uh, the beam has gone, and uh, Verde is dragging the body over to the Mime Lady. You are up in the hills right now, Iris. And uh, King, what were you doing? Where are you? I... You drove your truck, uh, your your jeep into Can the ditch. Can I just ask a real quick question? You said you were, did you say you were moving the map? Oh yeah, I did not move the map. Sorry. Okay. That would help remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. Uh, you guys should be slowly moving over there. Yeah, I'm there. Uh, Daisy, okay, why is it not loading for you? Twenty eight. Load. It'll it'll load in eventually. Well, I'm here. I, uh, damn, what was I doing? I was watching them. Oh, I was trying to question why Verde was all sparkly and going, I don't know, fucking fancy Hulk mode. Hulk! Arr! On me. Yes, yeah, probably right there. Um, yeah, I don't know where it was. I'm there now. Should I reload? Um, yeah, maybe try reloading. Um, hope activation there doesn't like. Okay, you're there. Boundary. Go on. Um, yeah, so the, the yellow square or yellow rectangle is where the beam of light was. It no longer is. The red was a, like, tracks and you probably saw that um blue Tire is tracks for it, any viewers watching yeah if i guess if you haven't been keeping up on this yet, yeah it's a uh, tire tracks if you want to know what uh, the red is go watch the series <laughs> yeah it's tire tracks and then my mistake um yeah is that that link that wrath is just touching with his cursor yeah <laughs> uh, um the green is Wrath's vehicle stuck in the mud. Okay, we don't need to bring that one up, right? <laughs> and the blue square... <laughs> we use our imaginations on these squares. Blue square is the uh, truck that has a bunch of kegs of alcohol on it. We um, might not be great artists, but geometry, we fucking killed it. Geometry is the one with <laughs> squares, right? Yes. <laughs> we killed it. Um, so, first off, before we continue with you guys' conversation... Iris, there are answers down here, you're sure, but uh, there's also danger afoot in the fields. What would you like to do? Would you like to stay put or approach? Well, if things have they've started to quiet down, right? Uh, yeah, nobody's shooting guns off anymore. I think she would probably just get in her truck and drive in the same way that she saw the second truck come in. All right. Um, just just yeah, so you can... she isn't dealing with what's ever in the, the fields. She's like, just gonna act like that didn't exist. You can pull in, talking. but um, the problem is that there's vehicles blocking the way further. So you'd be parked mm -hmm. like right outside the property, kind of still on the road path. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not a very active road. So I'm just gonna draw um, a square. Try and color it. Um, I'm gonna make your vehicle cut. What color do you want? You like teal, right? Yeah, she does like blue. Right, configure, then this. Put your truck right here. Um, do you and just have a tea kettle of tea next to you? I do. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I have <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, did you just pull a whole tea kettle out? Yes. Is there like a stove right there? Or you no, just brought the like teapot water. with you? That's crazy. Good for you. Yeah. That's what my wife does, though. She um, brings the whole teapot? That's genius. Like, why leave it out there? Just bring the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Yeah, and she has a special cozy over it so that it doesn't lose heat as quickly. See, they should make that for, like, beers. So you get, like, a 12-pack. You put your 12-pack in the fridge, and then when you're done, you pull the 12-pack out, put the whole 12-pack in a cozy, bring it to your room, or a cooler, and then you just have the yeah. whole thing right there. Smart. They have those little things that are, like, foam holders for your mug so that your greasy, warm hands don't yeah, heat yeah, up yeah. Your, your beer that's disguised as corn. Or, yeah, whiskey stones for you. Um, 
All right. Uh, so before that happens, I'll give you guys a moment. Um, you're still talking. You're not aware yet of a vehicle coming down uh, further. Um, you're, you're staring at this guy who's bleeding uh, rather heavily. Um, you have him hostage, essentially. So is it our turn? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I heard. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit. I was like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. I Iris is is driving down the road in, in a few moments. It's your turn. I feel like we it hasn't been that long, and all of a sudden, someone else showed up and just stole the entire show. Fuck! I haven't gotten a single line in this episode. I'm not gonna get paid. You get paid? <laughs> well, you guys don't. I feel like this is summer <laughs> camp, and all my weeks just got cut. This is crazy. Big one is the only one here that gets paid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> man. I don't know about you, uh, Verde, but I really hope there's not some guy out there named Craig Hall who's fucking snitching. Oh, it'd be horrible, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'll fucking... I'll sit grunkle on him. Apparently he eats people who does that. Who's grunkle? Anywho, it was a TV show I watched, cartoon. You wouldn't get it. No, oh, cool. <laughs> Anywho, um... Why are you all... Hello, Sparkly. What are you talking about? Uh, what are you talking about, Sparkly? Well, the mime also does the hand movements to sort of back up the. See, she's blind, folded. Well, <laughs> okay, you don't see, but <laughs> I don't see anything. You're not even blind. Come on. D d wait, does he not see his own sparkles and glistening body? Your body's glistening more than me, and I actually work out, so what's up with you? How am I glistening? I don't even have my shirt off. You Whoa. do feel a little sweaty, I, I guess. Yeah, that's the problem. Maybe we should just both take our shirts off. It's not like well, there's a woman watching us or anything. I, I gotta, She's blind. <laughs> and uh, I guess this I is the moment where, uh, Verde, you definitely notice another vehicle is coming down the road. <laughs> Pickles is like, please don't take your shirts off. We got company. <laughs> Burn it. Oh, oh, I put my Interrupted. shirt. Interrupted. I put my shirt back down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to probably post up on the barrel. Uh, you watch the prisoner. I'm going to train my rifle at the road. Expecting reinforcements. Okay, you got... That makes sense. A little bit farther away. He just <laughs> pokes the, right, the shotgun at dude's nose. I think that's the nicest thing Verde's ever said to me. I say out loud. Uh, as, you, you poke, <laughs> as you poke him with the, the shotgun, he, he laughs uh, and says, you're all fucked. You're all so fucked. <laughs> you know, I have more than just shells in this, right? I can bust your nose. I can crack some kneecaps. Oh, would you like to be a paraplegic? Uh, it doesn't matter if you kill me. You're all oh, going to die. Do. I wasn't going to kill you. I was just going to make your existence really, really, really painful. Completely surrounded. They're going to be here in minutes to kill you child slaughterers. Child slaughterers? You know, the only one killing huh? kids I know of is you people. Doesn't explain why I come back here and find that my kids are dead. Oh, those are your kids. That makes a lot of sense. Somehow you're uglier than they are. Ha! Sorry. <laughs> Iris, uh, you, you get out of the truck. Um, move your token there. <laughs> I'm trained rifle. Turn around. High five, Verde. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> um, why don't you roll for me um, a notice, um, and we'll give you a plus two, whether you add it at the roll or uh, we do it in post. Um, a plus two to notice the movement that's going on. Um, uh, but a plus two that you didn't add makes that a five or a three. I took and that a, one pump. a five. Um, I think that's good enough to to see generally that area. Um, you you can see some movement, and uh, you also pick up that there's somebody with a gun, also watching your position over there, or from over there. Yes, it it is Wrath. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm waving. <laughs> Oh, you want to wave at her? Kingsman is waving. I'm not waving. Okay. I mean, I'm yeah. also waving, but I'm, I'm cosplaying. 
<laughs> this this guy with a gun pointed pointing his gun at you is also waving at you. <laughs> and you can hear um the talking kind of coming from over on that side of the building. Uh, if it's not clear from the map, of course, everything is pretty well burnt down. Um there's holes mm -hmm. in the houses, windows broken. I call out to Verde, I'll be like, uh backup just arrived. Uh a woman is here to see you. Hey bad guy, a woman's here to see you. Should I you want to just leave a message? Well, you know, generally... You're not a bad like, guy. Well, hey, I mean, I can see how you would get confused, but I meant that bad guy. I'm telling you that anybody that shows up here uh -huh. is probably not good people and probably shoot first, ask questions later. Okay, I shoot. Uh, before you shoot, though, good or call. as your finger yeah. goes to the trigger, <laughs> um, call, go please. ahead and roll for me um, your common knowledge, All right. and uh, I'll give you a plus four on this one. Oh, he's... There's no room to fail. But there is room to succeed further. Plus four? That's correct. Oh, do you have common... And everybody has common knowledge trained for me. Yeah, common knowledge smarts of a d4. I got an eight. Yeah, common knowledge is kind of common knowledge, you know. Thanks. Yeah, well, it's one of the five <laughs> skills that you get for free instead of having to buy it from untrained. Um... But yes, an eight is the, the level that I was hoping you'd get. Yeah, me too. Um, for anybody unfamiliar with the rule system, you, wanna f you want to get a four, but uh, getting uh, increments of four higher than that means you get better things. A 12 being something that you could argue is sort of a critical success. Um, in this case, you recognize this person right as you get your... your do you, does your rifle have a scope? Yeah, absolutely. You said this, yeah, is, the right, this is the rifle that I kitted out, so... Yeah, um... You recognize this person. You've listened to their radio show many, many times to the point where you've looked up the website and um, I'll just let you decide. Do you have any merch from uh, this radio show? What was the name of the radio show? Let's get to the merch part first. Merch part G first? Give, give Iris a moment to think of her radio show name. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm going to set my M16 down on its side, turn around, look at uh, Verde, be like, yo, I know this chick! And I'm going to pull down my pants and show off my underwear that says... I haven't thought of one yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll go with a placeholder like name for now. Placeholder um, name! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, yo, it's her! Well, it's not her. I mean, that's a him. Don't worry about it. That's her! Who? Well, placeholder name, girl. Go ahead and roll common knowledge as well, Verde, but um, you, you don't get the pickle bonus. <laughs> it's placeholder name girl. Placeholder name girl. Don't you know? You're going to have to fix all of that in post, Wrath. <laughs> in boo, scary stories or something, you know? Like... I, I got a five. Yes, you are definitely familiar with um, the occult show um, done by a doctor. Uh, not a doctor in parapsychology, but but a doctor in like medical stuff. Um, correct me if I'm wrong uh, at any point. Um, but she does go into a lot of occult things that are going on, and um, if any of those shows were be to be taken serious, it'd probably be hers. The hell is she doing here? Uh, hey, that's a great point. I'll turn around, pick up the I rifle, and zoom back, back in. <laughs> Yeah, you get waved back at as you're, like, preparing to kill her. <laughs> my pants are around my ankles. I turn back around, pull up my rifle, see she's waving. I'm like, she's here to wave at us. <laughs> well, tell her to go away. We're busy. Uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> We're busy. <laughs> you walk out with your pants down. We're busy. <laughs> <laughs> not the best Not cover. a good <laughs> I'm gonna like it's... call out, be like it occupied. <laughs> occupied. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you you definitely hear two voices coming out hey! there. Hey. She probably yelled that they're surrounded. I can't yell right now, but they're surrounded. <laughs> you're surrounded. <laughs> you in what army? You guys are surrounded. There are things in the fields all around. I, Is I that a threat? A bad guy. You should have shot her. her. She's threatening us. Shoot her! Hey, I know you're famous, but 
my police officer friend is telling me to kill you. So I apologize for what's about to happen. <laughs> I'm here to save you. You just threatened me. I thought surrounding you the something is. I don't know what they are. You're not being very clear at all. He We're says you're not being very time. clear at all. I have a gun trained on me. She says she can't talk when there's a gun trained. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Wait, does it not? No. I don't have the gun in your mouth. You can still talk. Having a gun pointed at you would make you talk faster. Uh, okay. I I thought the 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 line that you guys were getting stumped on was the trained. I was like, no. that's what that's the no, phrase for when it's still, pointed, right? It's not like it's in her mouth. She can still talk. Yeah. No. No. She's just freaking out. Oh. Um. She. Do I shoot her or do I put my gun down? How about we do neither, and if we are surrounded, we get the hell out. Neither. The guy is laughing down there. I hold bleeding, my gun but up laughing. I butt stroke him in the nose. Ow! Not you. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you can go ahead and, and hit him. He stops laughing, um, and he's pretty well crumpled on the ground now. Um, he's not going to be resisting or doing much for a moment. More. Come over here don't, and talk to us. Don't, don't yeah, put your would... hands up. Grab your gun. Grab your crap. Let's get out of here. Uh, doctor, it looks like they are surrendering. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fucking worst. I'm going to pull up my pants. Your pants are pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> They're yelling at for a day. <laughs> Stop laughing at the man with his pants down. <laughs> I can't. We're surrounded. I can't. We're surrounded. I can't talk. There's a gun trained on her. <laughs> we can't talk when there's a gun trained on her. I'm overheating. Uh, okay, I'm going to pull up my pants. I'm going to pick up my rifle and be like, we got to leave. Do you have a car? We don't have a car. We need your car. Give us your car. Well, I'm not giving it to you, but you can get in the back. Verde's vehicle is parked down the road off camera. We need um, a ride I to his truck. Slightly. Okay. I actually think Come I brought the police car for this one, didn't I? Uh, yes, I believe so. She says she'll I'm pretty give sure us a you're on that road. Truck, but we're also surrounded. I don't I don't know who this li I don't know if she knows what team she's on. At this point, I'm afraid I don't know what team we're on either. Fair point. Uh, the mime you, gives you subtitles saying, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, to be honest. Confused, too. Um, I don't think she's a threat, though, is what her subtitles say. I, think I don't think so, that. either. She, she's one person trying to surround us. She's not that big. Let's just get out of here. Okay. Which way? Like, with her, or like we're running it? away? I, I assume we get in the car with her to get to our cars. Okay. You have us surrounded? No. Can we be yeah, unsurrounded now? We'd like, like to leave. Just, just come on. Verde we'll grabs dude car. by the scruff of his neck and starts marching towards me. <laughs> she says Iris. we're unsurrounded now. I'm gonna walk with him. So, uh, I mean, so now Iris now has a full view of Verde and the dude he's dragging, who happens to have a couple holes in him for buckshot and a bleeding broken nose mm -hmm. from being buttstroke. Hey, real quick, before you question us about that, um, you're the girl from placeholder name here, right? Yeah. Sweet. I'm gonna ask you to sign something later, just don't worry about it. Uh, okay. I just go no, to hop no, in her, I go okay. to, I go to hop in her car. <laughs> just brand, got well, a rifle. I see, I see the injured person and I'm like, no, nope, you're driving. I am gonna deal with this person. I get to drive? To what kind of truck is this? It's it's a really crappy old truck that can luckily still make the mountain trip. But... I'm like, wow, I get Heard to it. drive. Do pay no attention to that Jeep over there. I'm a great driver. I go to, I jump in the truck. Verde drags dude to the bed of the truck and just unceremoniously mm -hmm. throws him in the back. I'd like to and whistle and have him. a giant dog come around after us. Uh, uh, yeah, Titan is 
a sniff of something. Then he just charges on over there. <sighs> Slowly, apparently. Pizza! <laughs> yes, your third trick. <laughs> he just jumps out of a bush and then comes over to us. He grabs something out of the air. It's a good trick. Um, okay, so the body is thrown in the bed of your pickup truck. Is that where you wanted to try and use your medical supplies to make sure this man doesn't die? At that point, yeah. I mean, it's like a two-seater truck, so... Yeah. She would just hop in the back. And Verde's gonna be in the back, him. too. Okay, okay, so it's it's a king so, and Titan in the front seat, and the rest of you in the bed ooh. of the truck? Re really important question. Though. That sounds about is right. It, yeah. Is it stick shift? Probably. Can I drive? I mean, yeah. I can drive a stick shift. Can can? So the next question is: Is can Wrath drive stick shift? I can. Can Kingsman? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> I hope so. Is that is that a skill yes, we need yes. to learn, Pickle? Well, if I need um, to learn it, I want to know if she has it. <laughs> Cause how'd she get here? <laughs> She's driving the whole way here, like. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, I have I no idea say... what I'm doing. <laughs> My general rule on the driving skill, which is a skill, um, is that if it involves anything like um, your base ability to drive things, I, I generally think that um, untrained is probably you would struggle with a manual. Um, but you could also say, yeah, I, I know a manual and I, I hate uh, like regular cars. So you, you could make that distinction, but it really doesn't matter too much. Uh, whatever vehicle you pick is one you can drive. But if you wanted to drive like a semi, I'd say you probably need at least one point have driving train. Okay, then I'm going to drive uh, this. But, but otherwise, I, I just say driving as a skill is only if you have dangerous instances on the road. Um, and um, hold on. No, I... Is she helping the enemy? I don't, know. I, I don't know. She's come to get us, so maybe not. You're sitting right next to her and she's helping the enemy. I, I don't know if you could call someone who has to die. <laughs> Bert is like, I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> I don't know. She just... She's sitting right next to you, helping the enemy. Oh, that's what you meant by helping the enemy. Oh, <laughs> I don't think she's going to be much help. He doesn't seem to be there in a good way. What happened what? here? I shot him. No, that's just... smashed him in the face. Oh, that's Verde. Obviously... That's how he normally looks. Oh, you met him. How can we hear you? I'm yelling really loud. There's probably like a back window, maybe. Yeah. The yeah. Probably I break the back window. Can you hear me? <laughs> We're paying for that. Yeah, put it on his tab. Uh, where are we going? Why is it always my tab? <laughs> I don't have a job. Where are we going? Back to my car, I guess. Since okay. you don't have a job, so you don't have a house. All right, I turned the truck on. Um, oh, okay, so as, as you um, all pile in, you're having this conversation, you're getting in the back, preparing your medical supplies to, to treat this individual. Um, that's when you notice that there are things very much crawling around. Um, and it's Verde that gets this feeling first that it's like uh, your car may need to stay here. Because when you look at your car, you see something crawling underneath it. And then other things catch your eye. You can see something crawling at one of the fences in the distance. Things that look like, like they're moving, like snakes in the grass. Long claws just glinting in the light uh, from uh, your presumably various flashlights and, uh, and whatever equipment you have to be able to see out here in the dark. Um, Do the, I see the, this? The truck turning on, you, you start to see this probably uh, as Verde tenses up and uh, begins to look around. People also notice a few moments after him. And with your headlights turning on with the vehicle, yes. You definitely see that there are things crawling in the darkness. Can I crawl out the back window and tell Verde to take the wheel? I don't think you'll fit. I break okay, the more of the back window out. <laughs> I, st I still Bert don't think you'll fit. <laughs> okay. I don't think yet. I stop breaking the window and get out. Yeah, you Walk pull around. it back and it's fixed. I get back into the back of the truck. <sighs> Okay, Verde, take the wheel. I don't think this, we're this going isn't anywhere. This is enough time to be messing around. Well, yeah, we're not going anywhere. No one's driving. No, we Titan. got stuff crawling. We got stuff crawling all over the truck, man. Right, but if we drive, and 
Okay, we'll just sit here. Oh, and just to be clear, just to be clear, uh, there's nothing crawling on this truck because it yeah. just came in. Yeah. There's things crawling on the other vehicles. Birdie's truck. Again. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what you're uh, doing. Underneath your cop about. car that you look back to go and grab, you're realizing that uh, you are indeed surrounded by things that are crawling in the darkness. Going back to get your cop car might not be an easy option. You're all in the vehicle, and I, I, we can pretend that King is still in the truck before he switches positions, or if you guys want to uh, switch positions now, you may have a few moments. Yeah, I'm trying to switch positions. Yo, I think Dr. Fame Game over here brought an army. I don't think she was lying. No, no this wasn't my doing. No, you're no, no my doing. Why would I come help you then? I, you're, so I far, you're not helping us. You're helping it's him. It's been a weird week. <laughs> Verde well, jumps into the driver's seat and starts it up. We died. Okay, <laughs> so... Uh, I fall over. Oh, shit. We'll switch... Um, um, and we'll have uh, Mime and Titan switch as well. <laughs> Unless you want Titan to be in. Hell no, Titan can be with me. I'm going to pull out my rifle and set up on the back of the cab and be shooting stuff out of our way as we're driving. All right. Um, so as you guys begin to pull off, let me switch you to a new map once I... Adjustments to where you guys are. Um, the scale's a little wonky doodle here, but you'll have to bear with me um, once I activate. This is um, more or less the kind of road you would be on if it were illuminated by day. It is not. Think of uh, Project Zomblin. Oh Yeah, that is kind of yeah. a uh, desolate road. Yeah, um, but that's how it is up in the hills here. Um, there's usually two lanes going both ways uh, until you get to really rough roads. Um, but this is still within that area where the roads aren't terrible. Um, you didn't tell us you brought a bus. Everybody in the back four slots there uh, are in the bed of the truck. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you're working on this foul-smelling man who looks like he's probably been living in the woods for, I don't know, maybe a few months without showering. Um, he's unpleasant, and uh, you're guessing maybe there's a high infection rate here with any of his wounds. Um, he's wearing filthy, uh, like, dirt-caked clothing. Um, very dark col colors to begin with. Um, he's got a thick beard. But um, he's unconscious. He's got a wound to the face. Most likely somebody hit him with a blunt instrument. Uh, you have a flashlight, so you're able to kind of see. <laughs> um, and uh, he definitely has some shotgun blasts to the sides of his body. They're both on his um, left side. Um, looks like his uh, torso has got hit with some shrapnel. Looks like his leg's been hit with shrapnel. It doesn't look like he's been hit with any like um, artery hits, I guess. Um, is the fancy term I'm going to use. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's any immediate organ damage from what you can see, but again, you're in the back of a pickup truck in in uh, late November at night <laughs> with a flashlight. Um, so, go ahead. Oh, go for it. I have one question first. Yeah. Um, at the end of last session, you did say that the mind kind of did some like hand motions over here and said that he was stabilized. Is that still accurate? <laughs> It until, is until he got head, <laughs> gun butted to the face. It, it appears that <laughs> yeah, he mean, is rather stupid. stabilized, um, but uh, there are still gun like gun. wounds that are actively bleeding. Um, yeah. Just to repeat I mean, myself, with, it's called butt stroke. My bad. Butt yeah. stroke to the uh, face. It, with your medical skill as it is, uh, you would guess that there is some patching up to do, and infection is probably the biggest risk here. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, he does seem somewhat stabilized, even if he's bleeding a little bit. Scrapes and scratches from being thrown into a truck. But words will never hurt him. Not anymore. He's unconscious. Yeah. It sticks and stones. Never mind. Yeah. Wait, why is this map called You're Screwed Now? Hang on. Would you like to roll? Um, <laughs> would you like to roll your medical skill or anything, or do you want to just kind of keep him monitored? It's not really the main focus right now, so I say just keep an eye on him. If if things seem to like be bleeding worse or 
it seems like he won't be able to survive, then she would probably like. Yeah, heal me next. Right here, I got some ten spots. <laughs> he oozes charisma. <laughs> <laughs> I wink. Um. So as See, you guys are trying to flashlight at you to see this. What's that? I, I wink again. It's pitch black because it's dark out, right? Yeah. So yeah. Put yeah. A flashlight up to look at him. I'm blinded and trying to wink, but my eyes are like watering in the flashlight. I'm like, blinded <laughs> by the light. <laughs> and you guys are are starting to like, get up. into some of the more dense woods here. You can play your music as loud as you want. Uh, there's not that many people who will be able to report you. Um, <laughs> And as you're like making progress, way. you guys are going into town, right? But you're probably going to like the hospital or something. I just think so. I mean, Verde is driving. I don't know, Verde. Do you want to take a man that the police just assaulted nope. to the hospital? Nope. Okay. Okay. Well, you are going to town, though, right? Or are you going to your house, Verde? We're. I'm. I was kind of thinking we'd go to the tree house. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. I was thinking the cabin uh, in the woods, no relation to the other media. Yeah, the better. Yeah. I was thinking of the one where we found Pixie Dust. Yeah. Mm. Wait. Never mind. Um Well, I I guess uh, the treehouse is certainly where you can drive. You're the one driving, so I can't argue with you. Um you are making your way there. That's sort of also in the hills area a little bit. Um, so it's not too far of a drive from here. But as you're driving along, making your progress here, you get into a denser patch of forest um, where even though it's dark right now because of night, if it was daytime, this is sort of one of those gloomy areas where the road is perpetually an overcast um, at its brightest. And oftentimes it gets dark earlier than other areas. And this is when things start to get unfortunate for you as you start hearing chirping from the trees. Um, and when I say chirping, I mean more like uh, if gorillas were making chirping noises. It's a deep, bassy kind of... Is Just things. The, the mime is with you. you. Yeah, she's right next to you. So I'm guessing that's bad. She looks at you, sort of, and you see the <laughs> subtitles. Ha! It's very bad. And, of course, King, you also see these subtitles. It's very bad. So, is there anything you can do, or are we just screwed? She says, oh, with her subtitles, just drive quickly. Put my face up well, to the I back window, but I that. broke the back window. Well, hey, he, he I was up. told that your lamb's to the slaughter. So, What'd you call me? I was told a man approached me this morning and told me that I needed to come help two men that were lambs to the slaughter. Verde, this chick's calling us sheep. You are a sheep. People. I hate both of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, back out. What man? Who's snitching? Who told you about that it? Yeah, how did you find us? Why did you that even come to the farm? Question. Hey, you mind your business. No idea. Never seen him before. Just he some man out of the blue just told you to come to a farm in the middle of nowhere and you were like, giddy up. <laughs> All right, cool. He said he was involved with the mimes and at this point, I'm taking any any leads I can get to figure out. Actually, that's perfectly fair. Hey, man, I don't know if you know this, but she's, like, famous. I've, I've seen, no, heard her show before, so this is actually something she would do. She's kind of crazy like that. She might fit in well. You should meet Jesse. She'd like you. Extremely impulsive. Me? Jesse you or you? Me. Oh. <laughs> Everything's about you. <laughs> you did ask why she was out here. Oh, yeah. No, it is about you. You're right. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Mime. <laughs> Or dead guy, whoever said that. Titan? No. Yeah, um, the, the dead guy's like, oh, it is me. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What? It, it, this is all in your mind. <laughs> so anyways, uh, who told you to come find us? 
at the farm. That's weird. Who knew we were there? Verde, who did you tell that you were going to the farm? You? It was me. <laughs> no, it was a it was just like a little old man that approached me at the coffee shop. It, that definitely wasn't me. Yeah, it didn't look like you. What, were they slightly see through? He wants to know if they were what? He wants to know if they no. were see through. Oh, the right, coffee so, shop in the middle of town. Downtown coffee shop? Near an apartment complex. Mm -hmm. It was a man? You're sure it wasn't a woman? Did she bark at you? I'm sure. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hmm. No you're sure she didn't bark at you? But I do know what you're talking about. You said it was a man. What? Yeah. And he didn't bark. Little old man. What is this town coming to? <laughs> Tell me about it. More than just barking ghosts, I guess. <laughs> I like how both of us are edged, like, man, that's the weirdest thing we've heard all week. <laughs> that's the weirdest thing. <laughs> Someone at a coffee shop man. that wasn't an old man. Or that was an old man. Um, I'm going to... How, how, uh, I'd like to be watching for threats coming up on the vehicle. I'm still attempting to shoot anything that comes close. Absolutely. Are we all good? Uh oh yeah you you are most certainly not good. Um, <laughs> hang anybody, on, pause anybody, the conversation. You... We're not good. Anybody can <laughs> see this as you are uh, driving down this road. Um, you can see in the trees there are things crawling up, trying to get onto branches to jump down on you. Um, and it's at this point that the driver is most responsible for making sure we don't die, uh, and that we are not uh all screwed now. Things begin to jump from these branches. The further you go, the more it's apparent that they're closing in on you. Like, initially, you're going, like, you can see them crawling up the trees as you pass. And as you get further down there, uh, down the road, you can see them, like, making more progress. Those up ahead, well, it's as if they all tried to climb the trees at the same time. And, well, some have more time. You can see, then, that there are ones that jump down. And this is when I'm going to need you to make a driving roll. Frederick Verde, if you do not have driving, it is an untrained skill. Not um, to butt in, but I just want to make sure I am shooting these things, right? Not that it uh, will do. That's the second part. Okay. I'll shut up. Uh, so you got a three. You would like to spend a Benny? Go right for it. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Um, I'll give you the I'll give you the option of how you want your driving success to be here. Um, do you want to have this be more of a stylish skill thing where you're able to swerve out of the way and they don't even touch the vehicle that isn't yours or do you want to ram into them like as they jump you get it so one gets stuck in the grill and you drive over them um let's go with dodging what i can shooting what i can <laughs> all right uh in this case that is perfectly what you need to be able to drive past uh, several of them jump from trees, and uh, you just dodge them completely. One of them has its claws out, and Iris, you can see it. It's about to scratch up your well, already sort of scratched an old vehicle, but it's still it's going to make some brutal scratches. The, these fingernails are several inches long, and they look like they're angled as if they're like knives sticking out. Uh, not the normal like scratchy, but still horizontal mm -hmm. nails. Um, it slams to the pavement, and you can see they just tumble and fall into the darkness as you guys keep going. Um, there's nothing, like, running up behind, but if either of you on the back here would like to start shooting at these things, or have hinted that you really, really want to shoot one, um, there are certainly ones in the trees. Um, I know uh, that King might have an inkling towards that, but Iris, are you going to want to join in that, in, in shooting? Well, first, what are these things? What's happening? Bad guys! Bad guys. <laughs> okay. I, I can work with that. Okay. Um, yeah. Just going in there. She's going to join Kingsman and, and uh, get ready to shoot, I guess. There's certainly things in the trees that you can shoot. Um, why don't, uh, why don't we start with King here? Is he readied up? Um, and, and this is like a first shot as you're asking him the question. Go ahead and shoot, uh, into the trees. I'm going to give you a minus two because they have cover of sorts. Cover of darkness, cover of being the trees. But 
Marksman? Marksman would negate that. Okay. So it gives me a zero. Question. I've been posted up ready to shoot these things for a while. Does that count as a round of aiming? Uh, yeah, we'll give you a, a round of aiming, which would negate Marksman is not um, is a lesser version of aiming. So you would have a four instead of a two, I believe. A plus four instead of a plus two, but because of a minus two, it would give me overall a plus two? Yes. Uh, yes, that's certainly a hit, but it's not enough to give you a raise on damage, um, which you'd need an 8 for that. Um, go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, right, yeah, I almost forgot that. Um, ba -ba -ba here, um, this weapon, roll there. Teeny. The armor piercing is not 20. What? AP 20. What does that mean? Uh, yeah, that it's means probably you... AP two. Yeah, I think that is. What it... um, the oh, armor piercing means you ignore points of armor, um, making it easier to do damage. Twenty points to the of toughest. armor. No, two. Is yeah, more accurate. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So as one of the creatures jumps off to grab at um, your side of this 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 um this truck, it is like coming down like as if it's going to launch through the windshield and get the mime. You just blast, and its brains splatter out. It doesn't have brains, though, you remember? It's just this clay-like, goopy mass. No organs, just goopy mass. Like a living gushers. G gusher. Shout out to the last episode. Um, and it brain splatters blast. on the pavement. <laughs> you give it a brain blast. Um, and that helps as Verde is, is driving along, trying to avoid these things. That's one that he kind of you, you probably consider that you're going to have to swerve towards one. You go towards that, and then bam, it's shot off. Uh, Iris, do you want to uh, give off a shot now? Shoot the same one. You're down. Bam. Stay down. <laughs> Stay down. I mean, I like Double tap. Like <laughs> What's that? Yeah, shoot. Okay. Go ahead and roll your shooting roll. Uh, seven is good enough to hit uh right there uh but you do also get the penalty for uh range oh my gosh i'm just botching this um let's see what do you have uh you have a minus two not because of range i don't know why i'm even saying that you have a minus two because they have cover but you do have your trademark weapon here which gives you a bonus um that should reduce that to That's a minus eight, right? one what's that Oh, so it'd be a six. Um, so, um, plus two, minus one. Um, or minus two plus one. It should be a minus one. Um, yeah, six. So then. Oh right, right, right. I, 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 for some reason, I was, I didn't know what. I was like, no, your dice rolls. Your dice, like. What it is, a D8 stays the same. It doesn't go down to a D6. Mm -hmm. No, I was stupid. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so a 6 still hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. And this is a sleek-looking rifle. Um, I, I really like the, the picture that it had there. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, an 11 blows this thing to chunks. Uh, you catch it in its shoulder, and its arm just rips off. These things don't seem to be well put together, and they remind you a lot of clay, the earth. Things that are just, no problem. Um, things that are just sort of fake creatures. You don't get the feeling that these are alive almost. And you're not really sure why you're getting that feeling. Um, Have you guys this... encountered one of these before? I would say no. But okay. go ahead and roll your occult really quick, because you did put um, points into occult for a reason. <laughs> I know I'm gonna I'm gonna eat my words actually. I'm gonna say, yeah, you have definitely seen these things before. Um but you know a lot more in books about them. Uh, you, you know that there are creatures like this that have been falsely attributed to vampires and ghouls. Um things that you could also attribute to monsters in the night, like werewolves. Um they eat a lot, is the legend. Um so Wendigos also fall into the category. Um, vengeful spirits, violent crimes, 
there are some that you could argue in a conspiracy type of way on a radio show. Uh, you could argue that they are attributable to many things. Uh, a boogeyman in the night. That said, you, uh, you probably saw them only very, very recently. Okay. They're more of a legend before that. Um, and I was going to say, we are an uh, hour, 12 minutes into this. Maybe we should take a quick break. Okay. Yeah, if we can. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining. If you're enjoying the series, keep watching. We're going to be back after a quick break. Word from our sponsors. There's no sponsors. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. And we're back. Welcome back to uh, Strange Town Golden Ridge. Over to you, Pickles. Yeah, okay. Um... Well, I dropped my phone, but that's okay. Um, so you guys are traveling along this desolate road or around uh, 12, 13 a.m. And you have been having things dropping from, this, from the trees overhead in front of you. You know that this patch of forest isn't infinite. That eventually you'll come out to an area where they wouldn't be able to do that. But you still have a ways to go. And uh, there are things dropping from the trees pretty aggressively. Um, I need you all to roll a notice check. Um, as you're like shooting at things the best you can and driving. Um, for Iris and... and uh, Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Uh, there's no penalties for either of you in the back, Iris and King. But there is a penalty for, um, for Verde, who is driving is what's coming is from co coming from behind uh, so you'll just get a minus two but you also have alertness so it's negated essentially you're saying i get a minus two you get a minus two but you have a plus two from your alertness so it's just a straight roll yeah everybody does a straight roll uh seven five <laughs> 13 well technically uh you wouldn't get the plus four because plus two of that is from alertness plus two is from your investigator this isn't um, really an investigator one. But uh, you still, you can take your nine. Your straight nine okay. works and is the best role in the group, actually. <laughs> um, you still notice very well. Uh, coming from behind you guys is something large. See it in the rearview mirror? What the hell is that? Yeah, and you probably alert the rest of the group. Like, yeah, you guys can, like, you're shooting uh, ahead of you because that's where they're coming from, mostly. You're preventing problems from happening, preventing people from getting their, their throats slit open. You know, that kind of thing. And uh, when he, when you see Verde check the rearview mirror, you all look back and you can see that there is a larger thing following you. Um, not the right size, though, is it? Um, make it bigger. Um, no, that's not right. All right, is it? Give me a lot of options, do you? That'll be. No, oh, I don't like that. Uh... Oh. It has a large, clammy face, and when it opens its ugly smile that looks poorly carved into it, you can see that there are an array of not teeth, but things that look like um, bamboo and broken wood chunks. All very sharp looking, but certainly not ivory. It's just chunks of things that look like they are meant to pierce and rend flesh. And it's charging on all fours towards you guys. Um, it doesn't have any clothes or anything, or really any body hair. It just looks like this smooth, clay-like creature uh, charging down the road pa after you guys, um, bleeding into both uh, the other lane, the oncoming traffic lane, and also bumping against the... Uh, the wooden poles for uh, telephone wire and whatnot. Uh, the electric poles as well, I guess you could say. Utility poles. Um, it, it is barreling towards you guys, and there are also creatures still falling from the branches. Um, Verde, if you'd like to keep driving, of course, and trying to evade, it's going to be another driving roll, but this time you're going to get a minus two additional. Why do you do this, Pickle? Because I'm a hater. Is your what? A, a hater? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, is do I have any other options? Um, you could stop driving. Hmm. 
Uh, well, I mean, you could stop driving and try... Uh, okay, instead of driving away, you could try and ram this thing, like, spin around and then go into it, but... Um, let's put it a little bit further. How attached to you are... <laughs> How attached <laughs> to this truck are you? No, not I'm at all. To surviving. Do I? More attached to surviving. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Do you see any other options other than continuing straight? I wouldn't go backwards. Is there, is there a break in the trees? Oh, or a break in, like, the wires or anything? Um, If memory serves, in about a mile. <laughs> well, that'll be is the turn the on to the road for the... Or the tree house. Yeah, that'll be the turn on for the tree house, won't it? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, and that'll be a little bit lighter coverage. Probably shouldn't lead everyone to the tree house, though. I mean, where else are we gonna go? We can't lead them to town. What I'm is the kinda... mine doing this whole time? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I'm nudging <laughs> the mine. There. Do you see any options here? Um... You you see the subtitles just simply drive fast. So does that mean not go to the treehouse or I'm not sure I see what the problem is. I think you can handle it. You and the king. She seems very nonplussed and also not very aware of what's going on. She's kind of looking forward. Blindfolded. Hey, did, did you like uh, sense behind us or whatever you usually do to see? And um, yeah. I don't sense anything living behind us. There's a giant clay monster. She glances back as if she could see through the blindfold and then glances back at you forward. I don't see anything living. I don't doubt that it's not living. Can you sense the things attacking us from all around? She shakes her head. No. Yeah, that explains a lot. Uh, King, you didn't happen to bring some of that dynamite, did you? <laughs> Where would I have gotten dynamite? My house. You you look down to like a, a bag you've been carrying where a pet Claymore Roomba has been. <laughs> no, like, I definitely have a Claymore yeah. Roomba. I pull out the pull out the Claymore Roomba and be like, I've got the kitty. Uh, well, yeah, I lied about too. it being I lied about it being not explosive. I'll turn and throw it at the monster. First off, let's let's roll a a uh, rule of cool roll. Let's say. Um, to see if you even have this joke, because uh, I don't think you took it. <laughs> no, I did, obviously did. I did. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Yes. I had it at the farm, and I took it. Oh, I even did. I remember I went back to oh, the house God. and got it. Yeah. That's right. You did yeah, steal that cat. Too. Yeah. You used it at the farm to flush out the okay. enemy. I forgot. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have the kitty. Yeah. Okay. Um. Roll your athletics to throw it. Is what you're doing. Hell yeah. But make sure make sure you have the detonator attached right. Who do I look like? Iron Man? Um, <laughs> it's good. That would be. Um, I think there is a skill you can roll. Oh yeah, demolitions expert that I definitely have trained. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is something like demolitions. From my days uh... as a bail bonds agent. <laughs> We use demolitions a lot to find our... our Sometimes space. we had to breach a room, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I blew up at a house with a grenade. Um... Hmm. Is there no demolition skill? Repair. That's... Repair is the skill. Yeah, I don't Why have is that. I'll roll unskilled? Yeah, give it a once-over. I'm good with that. Do you want... Looks great. Well, I mean, I have all the bennies. Fuck it. I'll roll, use a benny. Use one to all try right. it. Looks great. Um, And that's not including the minus two, though, from being untrained. What? 
Unskilled. It's a D4. Oh, it's a D4 minus two? Yes. Oh, well, shit. You have to buy in to get to the D4. Um, oh, so that would be a two, two still. Go. Would you like to spend another bidding? Fixed it. Absolutely. That means I have to get a six. No, I'm not spending another bidding. I shouldn't have spent that one. All right. In that case, you, you chuck this at, at the creature, believing that it will work properly. Rule your athletics. Uh... Oh, you definitely hit it. Yeah, yeah where, where do you want it to hit it? Like, um, like a, it, it has its mouth kind of open. You could try and get it in the mouth. You could try and hit it in the leg or something. Crotch shot. It doesn't have a crotch. It's very clear uh, due to its lack of clothing and body hair that it is a, a Barbie and Ken situation. <laughs> okay, fair enough. What? It's like uh, it's made from Play-Doh. It has no genitals, is what he's saying. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, does it look male or female? Uh, clay. Clay male. Clay. clay Gender is clay. It looks clayish. Clay old. Um. All right, then I guess yeah. Down the guzzle. All right. Yeah, you can certainly throw it into its mouth. Um, and it slides in, and it bites down on it. And then it opens its mouth again. You see nothing. Yeah, I got it. You sure? That didn't seem to do anything. Hey, whose side are you on? I'm on the side of not dying. Don't listen it's to her. This point, it was great. We're all you should have seen, seen it. Uh, hang on, I'll talk to you in a minute. It's not my turn. Um, did that send us all into combat? Okay, we should all be on the uh, turn order, except. Get rid of Jed. Rip you don't need to be there. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do our first combat here, um, where things start getting more measured and measured what you want to do. Um, how it works is every turn, of course, if you're not familiar, um, is you draw a card. It's played of who has the highest card. And then if you have matches, then um, differentiated by the, the suit. Uh, if you get a joker, you get some bonuses, and you can do more damage, you have more accuracy, and you blow away the first enemy in the first scene of the first combat. Wrath. That is you. Um, getting hard shots on these creatures. Um, yeah, so it changes every single turn. So you might start uh, at the beginning and end <laughs> your last turn at the last uh, peg. But anyways, we're going to begin combat. And... Uh, is that a red jack or a red joker? A red joker. Okay, Let's go. The jokies. Yeah, buddy. I believe because you don't have any edges that are related to boosting your joker moments, um, no. you get a plus two to accuracy and a plus two to damage, I believe. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, and I get to take my turn anywhere in the turn order? Is that what it was? Yes, you can take your time anytime you want. Okay. Then, um, based on my edge of being charismatic, um, I am going to not charismatic. Based on my edge of being reliable, I'm going to save my turn to interrupt an attack on one of my allies to try and shoot and, like, if it's, like, about to attack, like, shoot its hand so it can't hit them, like, it'll rear back or something does that count um yes that you can do that there is also Thanks, um man. you can try and set them off um it's like the opposite of supporting your ally it's called a test in the system where you can do something to try and reduce their chances of having any kind of success um but if you just like to shoot them yeah, things about, like, like uh, shooting on its eyes or something um, well, that would be an attack, but um, I'm talking more like uh, throwing sand in somebody's eyes in a combat um, while they're trying to hit your friend uh, oh. would be an agility test for them, athletics yeah. for you. I'm too cool to just pick up sand and throw it at people. Uh, if you'd like to do an aim shot, you can shoot at their eyes. I believe that is a minus six. This thing's eyes are bigger. Is it... Um. Okay, so I get a plus two from being a badass. Your marksman reduces penalties. Yeah. 
No, from rolling a joker. And then I get another... Oh, yes, there, there's also that. Yeah. Minus two to the penalty from being a fine ass. So... Um, minus okay, two yes. Um, going for... Well, honestly, I don't even think shooting a clay thing in the eye will do anything. I don't even think it has eyes, so... It I'm does. Just... It does! It has two large, beady-looking eyes. They're, hmm. like, bowling ball-sized on its body. What if I just go for a headshot? It's minus four to a head, right? Yeah, and I think it's the same thing. I'm, I could have sworn there was something that was, like, um... Okay, let me let me hold my turn because I gotta take a phone call. So let them do their turn, and then I'll interrupt. Okay. Okay. Um, and that brings us to Titan. <laughs> uh, but Titan can also take his turn. I, I think that's a Black Joker there. Um, and that brings us to the Jack of Spades. The I thought this would be other people. Um, so the mime is uh like rolling down the window as quick as she can. That's going to be her turn, uh, because it's not very quick. She's like positioning herself on the door to look back at the same time. Um, let's go. Do, do, do. That brings us to Frederick Verde. So we're still driving, right? Yes. Um, and fly is bugging the hell out of me. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm doing Kung Fu over here. Um, so you can try and focus all on driving if you like, or if you'd like to point a gun out the window, you can do both rolls at a penalty. Yeah, I'll just focus on driving. There's not really anything more important at the moment. Okay. Um, this will be to try and um, outpace this creature uh, and make sure you're not losing ground to it. Of course, it's going to be trying to oppose you. So uh, go ahead and roll. A six is very nice. Um, that would be your D4 exploded, and then you got a two, I believe. Um, Yes, so a six is is a success. You're not losing ground or making poor choices as you're weaving out of the way of things trying to jump onto the truck. Uh, because of your success, nothing is getting onto the truck. And that brings us to... Um, over... Round... Yes, that brings us to Daisy. Three of hearts. Hey, um... Did we specify where I ended up shooting the other small creature at? I believe it was the shoulder that you like ripped its shoulder off and it fell into the okay, ditch. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a similar shot on this big one, especially because its arms could just kind of decimate us. Yeah, definitely. Um, intentionally going for a limb is a minus two penalty. Uh, but this one doesn't have like uh any cover or anything, and so that that would end up just being the same role as you did as one in the trees. It doesn't have the cover, but um, going for a specific small spot, uh, still minus two. Uh, total is minus one to the roll. Okay. Trademark. Just add it afterwards. I don't want to take too long. Oh, I'm going to re-roll that. Yep, that might be a good time to spin a Benny. Yeah. Come on, Doctor. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, is that all of your bennies? I have one left. Okay. Uh, do you want to use it? I guess so. All right. Let's go. Let's go. There we a go. A seven That's is so a hit. <laughs> it's not enough for a raise. Or a six is a hit, I should say. It's not enough for a raise. Six, yes. But go ahead and roll damage. Um. It sounds like my wife is home, so I'm going to greet her and spin my camera around. Uh, poorly. Don't look at the wall. Don't look at the wall. Okay. Be right back. That's not a lot of damage. While he's AFK, someone catch me up. What did I miss? Um, we have successfully dodged all the things. We are neither losing ground or gaining ground at the moment, depending on roll of giant. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I attempted to shoot it, but so, I just got four damage. So, so since okay. I've been successful in driving, there has been nothing hopping on the truck. Mm-hmm. And it was supposed to be Titan's turn, but uh, we also got a Joker, but now it's a 
it's just skipped. So you can choose one of her. You skipped Titan's turn. What a dick. No, like it's it's you get to pick one of her. Okay, hang on. Because you asked. I'm done in my chat. I gotta ban him. Um, yeah, I have an idea. Actually, chat gave me a great idea of what I should do, so I'm gonna go off that. Um, someone, chat, remind me in the Discord to fix my edge, uh, when we're not in the middle of the game. Um, okay, so you tried to shoot, but you only did four damage. I mean, that's still something. I don't, does it shrug off four damage, or is it good? I don't know. Uh, I think it might shrug it off. Did the damage. Okay, chat gave me a great idea, so I'm probably going to interrupt and uh, try and do something awesome based off your shot. I have a good idea. We can, we can, what? Tag team. We can threesome this bitch. The monster, I mean. We're on the same team. <laughs> Not impressed. Oh, I just forgot to add an edge to my victim's destruction. Oh, we both messed up our edges. See, it's not just me, okay. chat. I'm fixing it now, though. Damn it, it's just me, chat. <laughs> I'm back. What is just you? Nothing. Me fixing my edge. Um, okay, okay. I'd like to interrupt based off of uh, what Iris just did. Okay. I mean, we haven't resolved what she just did, but... Okay, then what did she just okay, do? Uh, yeah, so your shot hits in, in the shoulder, um, and it definitely does damage, because your armor piercing with this rifle is pretty decent. Um, so it cleaves into this thick slab of clay, Play-Doh-ish, monstrous flesh, and it's certainly weeping some sort of blackish ooze, but um, it's not deterred yet. Okay, then, um, chat gave me a great idea of shooting the detonator, shooting the claymore inside the body. For a called shot. Um, yeah, like going for the torso and hoping it hits. Basically. Alright. Well, um, I was I'm... hoping that her shooting would have opened up a hole and I see the detonator and I'm like, oh, cool, shoot. But hearing that she shot it in the shoulder, I don't think the it swallowed it and it went into its shoulder. Yeah, it doesn't appear <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, I, I mean, you can do your best guess, but that's the torso, and that's a, a broad space. Trying to be cool. All right, fuck you, chat. I mean, you, can... you guys didn't help at all. All right, I'm just going to go for a headshot then. Okay. Um, that is a minus four penalty. Uh, minus two overall then? Um, minus, because my marksman makes my cold shot, not minus four. Makes it minus two. And your Joker makes it a zero. Oh. Yeah, Joker, that's right. Yep. So zero. Um shooting. Roll. Roll. A seven? A seven is good enough to hit, but not enough for a raise. Uh you get a plus four damage though. Which is even better than raise. A raise just being an additional D four. Yeah, yeah. I get a sorry, I get a what? Uh plus four. Alright. Aiming. Add. Aiming. Roll. An eight. An eight. Uh, that is good enough to deal some damage there. Your bullet rips into its head, um, piercing through one of the eyes that just starts to, like, goop out. It, it reminds you of if somebody just filled a water balloon with water. Uh, something about it just doesn't seem like a real functional eye, especially those who have medical experience. Um, it is still charging after you guys, but it veers a bit as, come on, you guys don't veer too. It veers, um, into the other lane. Oncoming traffic might have a little difficulty. Um, and that brings us to, uh, Titan. Does Titan want to do anything? He got a Joker too. Um. It's wagging his body. Whole body? Yeah, well, he doesn't have a big <laughs> tail, so he's like wagging his whole body in excitement. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kira does that. That's true. 
does. Yeah. Um. Well, he's definitely not going to jump out of the truck at this thing. Um. Pulls out his Glock. No. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think Titan has any actions that he can really do. I here. think he does. There's still a bad guy in the truck. Can he eat the bad guy in the truck? Uh, he'll sit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, he got confused. He only has three tricks. You didn't say pizza, so he sits. God <laughs> damn it. Um, and that brings us to the monster's turn here. This thing is barreling towards you guys, and because it had some pretty decent hits on it. It's having a little bit of difficulty keeping up with you. So I'm going to give it its... Um, uh, hopefully this rolls dice. Uh, you had three hits? Uh, two hits. Oh. But those are rather... I left and came back, so I was like, wait, did someone else hit it? Oh. It is still making progress against the driving roll... Uh, driving roll of six. So it makes a little bit of progress towards you guys. Uh, coming closer and closer, you can really hear its hands like slamming down into the pavement, a wet squishing noise as it pulls itself forward, vaulting at every step. You can also hear this truck struggling, fighting against its own age in order to try and get you guys away at Faraday's command. Um, that brings us to the next round. Everybody gets new cards. There are no more jokers. Okay, freaking psych. <laughs> Wow. Again. There are no more jokers. Immediate joke. <laughs> <laughs> Again for Titan as well. Uh, no, Titan's a jack there. Um, oh, like yeah, the mime was. Um, and I only know that because there are no suits for the jokers. There's only two jokers. We draw them mm. and then we shuffle the deck and get another one immediately. Who's cheating here? Yeah. Is somebody cheating? Anyways, <laughs> um, Mr. Kingsman, what would you like to do? Uh... Headshot. It has one eye left. Oh, headshot. <laughs> all right, go right ahead. Um, you got the Joker, you got the Marksman, as long as you do one shot, and that's all you want to do. Yep. Okay. Then you go right ahead. I use a Benny. No one saw that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I use a Benny. No one saw that. Gun jam. Pachow! <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> There's a hit. Um, so really what happens is you're not shooting a bunch of shots. It's like um, <laughs> you, you hit a bump in the road and you readjust slightly. You're like, oh, that would have been a one. Uh, that would have been a three. Uh, and, and then you're you're able to um, properly get a shot off. Pound on the cab. The, Drive straight! <laughs> the hits you try driving the... with all this stuff jumping at you. <laughs> you hit in the head and this one also hits the eye. This thing is now functionally blinded as far as you can tell. You're not really sure about its senses, um, but you also have another person with no senses in the vehicle with you, so I don't know. Maybe things <laughs> Listen, there's we don't a... Talk, we don't say that to Rudy's face. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we say it to the mime's face. <laughs> yeah, she can't see um, But it is functionally blinded now, and charging towards you guys. Um, uh, wait, did you roll damage? No, you no, did roll yet. damage. Go ro roll damage. 13. Yeah. Bam. It slams right into his eye. This thing seems very uh, not um, squishy like the other things, where, where a shotgun blast could shred one to bits. This one seems much bigger and built of sturdier stuff. Go for it. Does this remind me at all of the one that I'm carrying a sword from in the cave? In the mine? The monster uh, made up of a bunch of them? Roll your smarts. Five. Fucking yes. The same one or just a similar thing? Similar. Okay, so it's not like missing a giant fang that is currently strapped to my back? No, but you think that uh, maybe maybe something like this could find a fang like what you have and just shove it into its mouth, like those spears and uh, crooked pieces of wood are. Mm -hmm. Or maybe there's like a surgeon that does that. Okay. An emergency room surgeon? No, 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 that doesn't make sense. Um... Okay, so that is your turn. You have certainly um, blown out its eyes. And that brings us to the Queen of Spades, Daisy. Uh, Iris, I, I Dr. Iris. Yeah, Rogue Flower. Uh, um, 
I think I'm just gonna go for like a torso hit. For a what? A torso hit. Like a Okay, that works. A four definitely eight. hits, and an eight damage is very brutal there. Um and that makes it through. Um, this time, you can see this, uh, well, I guess as somebody said earlier, you, you hit it in the stomach in a way that, uh, well, it's hypothetical stomach region, um, mm -hmm. where it opens up and you can see that there is that Roomba um, blinking and trying to make its way, cleaning around this uh, mm -hmm. cavity, I guess. It's openly there now, and there is a visible area where you could try and shoot the Claymore. Um, if you had additional shots, um, but uh, I again, I'm sorry, I need to ask more of if you want to do multiple things because, in theory, you can do up to like you can do up to like three shots, it's just you get a minus two per shot and for all of them. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, I will get better about that. That brings us Titan, uh, Jack of Hearts, bark, 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 eat his face. You want to throw uh, Titan off? What? No, I'm not throwing him anywhere. The guy in the truck. Eat his face. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, he hears your command, and he rolls over for tummy scritches. Tummy scritches, tummy. <laughs> that brings us to Verde. Uh, you are driving. Um, you are opposing this creature's advancement on you. But you're hearing a lot of gunshots behind you. No, it's cool. That's normal. He's I, I'm, I'm assuming they're doing what they can, <laughs> so I'm just going to keep driving. Go ahead and roll your driving. Hey! Oh god. Kill it. Oh, damn. Yeah, uh you make a lot of progress there. Um this that's gonna be hard for it to beat, I'm sure. Um which brings us to the blind mime who is situated outside of the vehicle now. And um of course she is. Uh, she's like sitting in the window with her legs still in the vehicle, mm -hmm. holding onto the roof. Um and for those of you on the back, you recognize this more, but Verda, you can kind of see this out of the corner of your eye. She emits a beam of light coming from her hand that illuminates the entire area. Um, I guess if he had eyes, it might have blinded him a bit, but he is blinded as fuck now because um, he blew out his eyes. Um, you can see him very clearly, and, uh, well, um, that would give you a plus two if you wanted to shoot a specific part of him. That brings us to his turn. Blind, um, shot multiple times. Um... Uh, manually, well, I hmm. guess I could roll from his character sheet. You know what? No, I don't. Yeah, he's starting to linger behind. You might be able to outpace him with this. Um, that brings us to the third round here. Let's go. With a red Joker for Doctor Iris, ah! you can take your turn anytime you'd like. You get a plus two on to hit rolls, uh, which means you can also ignore then. Um, two penalties. Um, something that takes a penalty of two, of course, is a limb shot. So uh, if you want to do another limb shot, you could do that here. Um, you also have a plus two to hit him from the beam of light spotlighting him. So in total, you'll have a plus four to play with. You could go for a headshot. You could go to try and shoot that small detonator. You'd have a bonus to hit a limb. So or you could just do a torso a shot with a plus four. Oh, sorry, what was if that? If I want to take a multi-action to try to ensure that I shoot it in, like, the, the Claymore spot. Um, would that be a minus two each time, or a minus two and then minus four? It's a... If you want to do two of them, it would be a minus mm -hmm. two on both rolls. Uh, if you want to do three shots, it's a minus four on all three. If you're talking about aiming, apparently you have to spend the entire round aiming, and the next mm -hmm. turn you'll get the bonus for it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and that's for, like, a staring through a scope, aiming, getting that bonus. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to do three shots this round, um, that would be a minus four roll on each. Um, it is a minus four base to hit the detonator. Oh, handsome ginger man. Uh, okay. Um, or, or ginger I lady, I don't know. One. It's a boy. His name is Snark, sir. Ah. Um, I'll just do one and All try right. and shoot for the the Roomba Claymore cat creature. Seven, eight. Eighteen. 
Yes. Uh, well, with that much damage, I'm going to say definitely you hit that that uh, detonator, and everybody can feel this thing explode. Um, the eruption like shakes the vehicle, sends you guys forward from the blast a bit further. Uh, Verde, yeah, I guess it was loaded. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was an accident waiting to happen, but in this Man, instance, I need to really, really uh, mark these better. <laughs> Oh, that means your dud is still at home, probably. Damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, as you guys move forward, uh, your vehicle shaking, um, he, you make it through to that area where the creatures aren't able to follow you. And you notice that after you blew up this monstrous one, the others all like jumped and fled from the trees. And then any that tried to follow you, it was they weren't going to make it. No, none of them are going to be able to sprint fast enough to keep up with you. Um, which brings you to a moment of calm, I suppose, as you're driving towards the treehouse, presumably, still? Um, I guess. Is, I don't guess there's really any other place for us to go. Is there? I'm assuming you're saying that out the back window. Yeah, I'm saying that just, like, in general, to everybody around me. Um, well, I just wanted to get you guys out of there, or... I don't really know. Well, the only problem with that this. is now you're a part of this, and it's one of those, uh, either you help us, or you kind of get killed by Mimes thing. Mimes. Okay. Oh, yeah, did you not notice the mime in the front seat with me that has the blindfold on that can still somehow see? Yeah, I, I noticed that. She waves at you. In kind of hard to notice every strange thing and point it out, like a say more attached to a room bar. Um yeah, wherever I'm down for, I need to be filled in on whatever is happening because this is more than I signed up for. But You signed up? I guess so. Lucky you. <laughs> it, this was said with heavy sarcasm. Because he doesn't want to be anywhere near this mess, to be completely honest, with everybody involved. <laughs> I'm going to say at this point, you guys have made it to... world? It really changed. Uh... Oh, I might have sorry. to reload. Yeah, I'm going to reload. I'm sorry. It's 98% and then it freezes. So weird. Um... Here we go. Yeah, so we'll bring ourselves back to this treehouse. Of course, uh, you guys pull alongside uh, the like, a little area, dirt patch on the side of a road that leads down a path through, I believe, blackberry bushes that leads into a field where there is this tree that holds this rickety-looking treehouse where you guys first met the blinded mime. Um, yeah, so you guys are there. Uh, the guy's still not very conscious, but... Um, Uh, you guys are at least not driving. You're not being followed. What would you guys like to do or say to each other? Well, I think it's interrogation time. Um, don't know how exactly we're going to go about interrogating, but it's time for interrogation. Interrogation of me or the, the dude you almost murdered? Yes. Yes, okay. <sighs> First of all, how the hell did you find us? Well, I think I tried telling you a couple times. I was at a coffee shop, a and busy. a man approached me, and um, he told me that he needed a favor from me for the mimes to um, save the lambs from the slaughter at this location. And um, now I'm here. You got a description. He pulls out a notebook, flips it open, and gets a pen ready. Very um, man, very short, balding. Um, just kind of didn't seem to fit in. And you said kind he wasn't see through or anything. No, I didn't notice anything like that. Is should I have? Is that a thing? Um, so from what Kingsman's told me, you do this whole paranormal radio show. Yeah. Right? Um, mm -hmm. let's just say you're a lot closer to the, to the truth than you really want to be. 
I don't know about that. I mean, really? I want to be as close to the truth as possible. That's the point. You ever heard the term ignorance is bliss? <laughs> yeah, yeah, never been my style. This is one of those times where ignorance truly is bliss. Well, it's hard to be ignorant when both of my parents have been snatched up by this strangeness. And every day I'm seeing patients that are coming in with strange wounds or all kinds of unexplainable things. It's hard to be ignorant. Welcome to our world. I suppose introductions are order. Frederick Varde, uh, police detective. Iris Forsyth, doctor. Nice to meet you. Good Hopefully to meet you we'll too, be on I better suppose. terms. Yeah. yeah. Shit happens, so we'll see. Um, did dude give you any other information other than save the lambs from slaughter? Uh, he said that there was two men that were important that he didn't want to die yet. Ah, so we're important now. You hear that, Kingsman? We're important. And I asked, I asked him why you were important, and uh, he kind of got upset and almost revoked this ask of a favor. So, um, why you're important, I guess, is something I'm not supposed to know yet. Hey, welcome to the club. <laughs> All I've been told is that we're supposed to be fighting whatever the hell is making these monsters. Kingsman apparently is important. Okay. I'm important. Um, the purple coat girl is bad. I don't know, to be completely purple honest with you. Yes, purple coat girl. If I can pause for a moment here. Go ahead and roll for me, uh, Doctor. Uh, your occult skill with a plus two. Yes, uh, people regularly call into your show, which I'm assuming has a call-in function mm -hmm, um, sure. to report things, what they've seen, um, part of the entertainment factor. You might not like it, but mm -hmm. the, uh, I mean, it's required uh, in order to keep your time slot. Um, mm -hmm. A common thing, I guess, is at least once a month, somebody will call in asking, have you seen a girl in a purple coat? Oh. I'm just not really... It's almost more of a statement, you believe, than a question when people say it mm -hmm. like that. Because then you'll ask them questions. They won't really elaborate. Where did you see it? Why would you ask this? Uh, what kind of purple coat? They just, just have you seen her? Nope. So when Verde, of course, mentions girl in the purple coat being bad, that rings a bell for you. Sort of? Yeah. What else is there that we're dealing with here? Uh, evil demons, giant slots, um, the usual. All right, that's, uh... Crazy? That's a bit out of my knowledge. Yeah, that's, Welcome. that's one word. That's, that's one word. Welcome to the club. Oh my. Maybe I'm a bit over my, in over my head. You think? I, I'm it's sorry no. if I don't sound very sympathetic, but no, I've been dealing fine. with this for the past 15 years or so, give or take. But if, if you don't want to be here, why why are you still dealing with it? Because nobody else will. Okay. You, you know, answer. police officers take an oath when we sign up, and... Uh, yeah, but I know the Golden Ridge Police. I, I, I guess feel like that was a date. Like it seems like you're different, though. I mean, real, real, real nice of you to say so. Really appreciate that. I hope so. I hope so. Is Kingsman just off to the side with all of this and listening, or is he off uh, with his gun, keeping a like a perimeter? I'm probably off doing target practice, honestly. I'm trying to figure out how this doctor is also a radio show host and a better shot than me. 
I'm I'm kind of mad, so I'm probably off doing I'm I'm stress relieving gun practice. And the mime is with you. Uh, you, you didn't notice at first, but she uh, has followed you down there while the other two talk. Um, you probably have some distance, and they can still you can see each other from a distance. You're not like hiding or anything, but you definitely have some distance. You, yeah. you were just stick figures. Yeah. Um, and take, uh, take the swiss swiss of my flag uh, a swig yeah, of my yeah, flask of course <laughs> too many swiss swiss of my flag um take a swig and set it down kind of ready the rifle shoot pet titan look back mime's there I'm like yeah the mime taps your flask um oh no my flag <laughs> Flask. And like she just taps it with her finger and then looks over towards where you were shooting. It, you right. see the subtitles. It is good that you know how to handle a weapon. I look at the police officer and the sniper doctor. I'm like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure we're covered on that. Yes, but you won't always have your friends. You know that, right, King? Do I kill them? No. Oh, thank no. God. That would be really awkward. You all play a part of a specific puzzle for the subtitles read. And it's at this point that both of you on the hill, you pick this up as well. And, um, Doctor, you haven't been picking up any subtitles before. That was a question I was going to ask, but I, I don't... wondering that, yeah. yeah. You're picking them up now all of a sudden. And for the others, it's very, like, standard Times New Roman... Uh, white font when you're in a dark area or black font when you're in a bright area. For you, Doctor, it is blood red and it's some annoying kind of cursive font. In fact, it actually looks handwritten in your view here. So it's a little bit difficult for you to follow, but uh, your smarts. Yeah. Your smarts cover that, so you can you can follow along. Okay. Yeah. Um, she says it is... In... Someone watching oh, the he... opera? Uh, yeah, it <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It just came, this is like the first time in a while it actually came through. <laughs> I, just, I put my, my hand over Titan's mouth. Sorry. <laughs> if somebody left the radio on and I started playing with the radio stations. <laughs> um, no, anyways, um, yeah, you, you can pick up the subtitles, all of you. Um, her saying that you're not going to kill your friends. It's just you will be in a very dangerous situation where all of you will play a role. King? You will have your own role. The knight will have his own role. And the rook will have her own role. I'm here to guide you and do my best. I know that you don't believe I've helped you as much as I have, but in the future, you will appreciate what I've done, I think. Well, I mean, you've only ever really talked to uh, Verde. He's kind of the clown person. Um, mime person. Sorry. See, I'm not... Very charismatic. I wink. Um, she winks back. You think what? <laughs> <laughs> blindfold. <laughs> the blindfold <laughs> winks. Um, I'm like, so you think we're important, and you want to guide us to? What are you even guiding us to? You keep saying you're guiding us, or or Verda keeps telling me you're guiding us. What are you guiding us to? Well, what have you found through my interference? Oh, a super cool sword? That was another of my Ken. Oh. That was a pawn. Listen, I don't mean to say you all look the same. I got confused. I apologize. Whooshing! I made the sound myself. It doesn't go whooshing. I tell I him. brought you the phone from Roger Potts that would allow you to be at that farm at 11 p.m. Oh, that's right, you did. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, um, which was very helpful. We needed that. Thank you. Um, that was a huge boost. Yeah. So now that we've got the farm, we've got uh, that guy. Uh, do we ever get a name for that guy? No, but he probably has a wallet. Yeah, I think Verde was planning on doing an interrogation. Uh, so that's good. We'll uh, see what they've got to say. Um, maybe that'll give us a lead on where we need to go next. So this I think point. they're handling that, King. Perhaps you should keep up with your training and have another drink. She holds up your flask to you. 
so glad you joined the team. God, you're way better than Verde. He never lets me do this. Uh, as you grab the flask from her, you realize it's completely full, not 20% full as you had left it. And it tastes like your drink. It, nobody peed in it. Damn it. That weird. But, um... <laughs> No, no, it is your standard beverage that you have in it, okay. whether that's whiskey or vodka. Or I meant good. I meant good. It auto cracked. Um, I will <laughs> take a swig, set it down, and go back to practicing. Um, and she kind of backs off a little bit, and and you I'm feel not that a bad light of a shot. No, she she lit, lights her lantern presumably, but it doesn't like throw off your shot at all. It merely makes it so um, those of you up on the hill, were, which we're moving too. Um, can see that um, there is a light down there. The mime is with King. You guys are up here on the hill with your vehicle. The uh, semi-conscious man who's maybe waking up. Would you guys like to talk further or interrogate? Or what would you like to do? He can't see something. Probably. Yeah, he sees a bird out the window. I'd leave it to Verde first, I think. So what what exactly are you expecting to get out of this? being involved in this. You want to get involved any further? I do. Um, the goal here is to stop all of this. That's my goal. Stop people dying in the woods. Stop monsters from appearing on the roads at night. Stop all of this. Finally, somebody that has a clear-cut goal that isn't just an agent of chaos. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the other man. Very much so. Don't get me wrong, he's hard in the right place, but... What started this adventure was him driving down the road, waving a gun out the window to try and get me to follow him. That's not on I... YouTube at all, though. You have no proof. <laughs> <laughs> that tells me a lot about him. It should. Um... I'm since the mine is not here, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. Be careful who you trust. Do you not trust the mines? Not as far as I can throw them. Okay. Sounds good to know. Do you, you trust the other man? Surprisingly, yes. Okay. I trust him to do what's best, and I trust him to that do what is required to help everyone. Don't trust him around your stuff, though. <laughs> he he thinks I don't know, That's but I do. Story. He keeps stealing my stuff. I've had couch cushions um. for a month. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the remote for the TV. Battery's gone. <laughs> Not everything's Why there, it's just the battery the, the battery cover's gone. <laughs> yeah. Well that was Titan. Titan ate that. Is there anything else you want to know before we go interrogate the guy I shot and mauled? I have so many questions. I don't even know where to begin. Um... The beginning is always the best. <laughs> yeah, I I saw you, I think, a few months ago, or I assume what I think is you. I mean, I saw a police officer and the jeep that was stuck in the mud at the farmhouse. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I saw it, it looked pretty dangerous. Um, both of your cars were kind of covered in viscera, blood, you know, guts. All kinds of disgusting things. I was leaving the summer camp that I I work at in the summers. Um, and was this three uh, months ago? yeah, and was right. that you? Squirrel incident. Squirrels, like rodents. Where? Be careful when you talk about squirrels. We both have PTSD. <laughs> You're like 300 meters away. <laughs> you can't hear them, but somehow squirrels carries on the wind. Where? Where? <laughs> They're not here. Be careful, Kingsman. You're good. They're not here. Okay. Titans. 
a titan's just spinning around in circles, <laughs> trying to see every direction at once. I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> As you can see, it was more than just squirrels. Um, hundreds of squirrels baying for our blood with a man playing a pipe behind them. Like the Pied Piper? Yes, the Pied Piper of squirrels. Oh my. Um, Doctor, roll your occult skill again. Okay, maybe I have. The information dump is real. Um, I meant to give you a plus two with that. Um, because again, this is with your radio show. People have called in mm -hmm. saying that out in the woods and the hills, there have been sounds around that time, um, mm -hmm. like of people playing the flute in the woods. Um, and uh, there there are a few, like, historical, or cultural, I should say, um, like, beliefs about this. There's, like, the banshees, who could be the wailing of the wind. But everybody said it was musical. Okay. Well, I thought those were all made-up stories. It's hard to tell what's facts and fiction and what people said in my show. It... It gets complicated fast. That's what I'm starting to learn. So, so this man, you shot him, he said. Yes. Why? Uh, he was shooting at me. All right. That, that makes sense. By the way, did I manage to pick up the AM-180 by chance? If you'd like to, yes. <laughs> yeah, hey. Thank you. That's a, that's one of the ways we became friends, I feel. Like, the first time we really <laughs> hung out, and you're like, hey, you want to hear about a really interesting gun? And I was like, sure. sure? <laughs> why not? Why the fuck not? <laughs> uh, um, Weird-ass gun. And I was like, I gotta write about this. That's that's <laughs> an abusive gun. <laughs> it very much Chainsaw is. of twenty two caliber. Yes. Uh, but yeah, it, it's used up a number of bullets, of course, because uh, he got to use it for at least two turns, I think, or maybe one turn. But um, one. yeah, I shot a ton of bullets, but uh, not all of them in the in the magazine. There you go. Oh, I messed it up earlier today. Yeah. I was like, oh, your gun only has that much mo uh, shots in the clip. And Rath was like, you get this 75% of the time. <laughs> I was like, you, you, heard, do. you heard me raging in the distance. Yep. <laughs> Even with you just thinking Calm about it. Goes, clip, it doesn't come in your pistol. I was like, no, no, it doesn't. A mag goes in the pistol. <laughs> I, I have trained them well. <laughs> I, I was uh, in the Marines, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> no, everything, I, everything I learned, I learned from, you from Fred. Fred. Yep. It Normally, it's, for some reason, it's always just me, usually. It's nice to have somebody that actually knows. I got but you, usually, bro. it's just me and then my friend group that knows the proper name of things, and it gets annoying. But that's a totally different story. Yeah, anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, real quick side note. Sorry if this is totally the wrong time in Pickles. You can tell me to, to go to bed. Um, okay. Double tap. Can I could I switch my uh, connection cops for double tap? I wanted something that. Oh no, that's a seasoned, isn't it? So I wouldn't have been able to have that. Is it? It says seasoned. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that would be a novice edge for okay. you. I need to get. Um, I need to get something that's novice. Okay, my bad. I was initially there. I was like, that wouldn't fit well with your marksman. That's kind of having two different areas of skill. But then Ooh. I was like, that's not technically changing uh, your rate of fire and no. i think that would still work um it can only be used with weapons that have a rate of fire of one and can fire two shots without needing to manually reload so i just need to well either way i can't i can't get it uh so... yeah yeah but i think it would still work with your marksman is yeah. what my judgment would be that, that was more of what i was concerned i just have about, to yeah, switch yeah. to a weapon that uses only rate of fire one which is what my marksman needs anyway marksman is firing one shot so either way it works um, yeah. trademark weapon is a novice skill. Um, uh, yes, skill that's actually of... what um, Daisy has that for her character. Her yeah, uh, and she's a better shot than me. Rifle. So I need to, I need to get that. You mind if I switch for trademark weapon then? Uh, by all means, but you'll need to describe uh, which weapon and why is it your trademark and make me gush. 
I can do that. I'll uh, write that. Gross. I'll, re I'll write that. No, I I understood the assignment. Yeah. Uh, um, I will write yeah, that up um, in between. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything like uh massive it's just uh like why is this your favorite weapon um and of course uh daisy wrote that up for my uh me as well but, yeah i'll yeah. get that to you before next episode do you have an idea of which gun you want it to be yes um basically it's going to be kitted out m4 and i will explain okay. why um and also uh just for both of you guys something that daisy did that i want to have as a set precedent um, is that you can go and look up stuff on a, like, if you find an online gun store and it's legal to buy in Washington, by all means. If you want to find... how a... short that list is? Also, because yes. I have connections to get illegal weapons? Yes. And yes. Um, and for you, that's just uh, telling me, like, what guns you want. But I did want to set that precedent. I, I like that... Um, I'm bragging about you, Daisy. I like the, the precedent <clears throat> of just find the gun online, find the price, and say, this is the gun I want, and Pickles will just say... Yay or nay? Question, Pickles. Uh, uh, like an M4 and an M16, they have a switch totally between illegal. single round and three round bursts. So if I just had it flipped to single round, would that count as a one rate of fire? Uh, yes. I think the big thing with Marksman is you have to be able to shoot one shot. Right. Um, you have to have the I option, mean, and you have to do that. Using or getting um, double tap in the future it relates to only a rifle that has one shot. So if I trademark weapon could have a one rate of fire, then it would be useful for both. Yes. Why yeah. I, I would say double tap still fits with that. Okay. Carry on. The gun expert has not spoken because I'm not the gun expert. Um, <laughs> what, what exactly was the question? The question is, Can so an M4 it? and an M16, they have a, they have a switch to flip between single rate of fire and, and burst rate of fire, three round burst. Um, so if I flipped it to the single shot, uh, could it work as a one rate of fire weapon in this game? It depends on the definition of one rate of fire in the game. We'll trigger oh, one shot. We'll trigger just one shot. You don't have to do anything else. So yeah, and so double tap would be you have it in that mode and you pull the trigger twice. Okay, in yeah, fast that, would like, that would count. Yeah. Although the M4 does not have a burst, M4 has full auto. Is it the single shot and full auto, or yes. single shot? Shit, single you're shot right. Yeah, auto. the M16 has burst, M4 has yes. single shot and full auto. Interesting. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Depend, depending on which M16, anything past the A, A, I think anything past the A1 is burst. Yeah, but yeah, the yeah. A1, the A1 is classic. Yeah, basically it's yeah. an A2, but you throw an ACOG on it, it's an A4, and you're good to go. Anyway. Yeah, the ACOG. <laughs> yeah. Carry on. I don't know why they change the number so much when you just it's burn it. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, this um, is totally side note. I'll add it in later. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's perfectly fine. I accept your idea. Um, so we're back up at the vehicle right now while you're shooting with a mime. Okay. Um, at various obstacles and think about your trademark and why it's so awesome, why you love this, this specific gun so much. And I should note, trademark weapon is a specific weapon. So it's not just a specific model that you can pick up any of those and, and work with it. It's your specific gun. It has probably like your custom grips on it. So your hand fits perfectly. Um, and with trademark weapon, um, you, I, I give you a little extra for that. That That's something we'll, I'll give you a few other benefits since it's something you can easily handle, you're regularly handling, and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, up at the truck, um, uh, gunshots punctuate you guys every few moments, but um, you have the guy, he's semi-conscious. Um, with a healing check, you could probably wake him up. Um, I can do that. All right. I'll give you a plus two as well. Um, okay. Two, eight. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, you can certainly wake him up here. Um, and in the bed of your truck, he is awoken. He's immobilized and not really a combatant because he has no weapons on him. Um, at least any that he's brandished at you, um, or any that you noticed. Uh, as you're like kind of waking him up, do you guys want to frisk him at all? Search him. Yes. Jim, yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah, so as you're, like, waking him up and everything and making sure his pulse is, like, fine, all that stuff, getting the medical rundown, uh, you do find a wallet, and you do find... 
double check to make sure this is correct. Go into the wrong folder, because that's how I run my games. Wrong folder. Okay, what do you have? Uh, yeah, it, it, he has a, a wallet. Um, no weapons on him, but he does have a few, like, loose bills um, in another pocket. Um, there are, like, hundreds. So he's got, like, 300 and loose bills in the other pocket. Um, in his wallet, he doesn't have any cash, but he does have his address. He does have um, a piece of paper with some numbers written down and some words, um, as one does on a piece of paper. But um, looking at that, of course, because you unfold the piece of paper, uh, it appears to be an address that is not matching with the address on his um, uh, driver's license. This is definitely Jed Yuskoski. Um, he lives out in the hills, so you could find where he lives if you wanted to. Um, the address written down on the piece of paper, as I said, is not his address and is not the address of the farms. It is a mystery address that you have not been to. So it, he does have an ID on him? Yes, he does. And you said it's Jed Duskoski? Yes. J E D. Well, we should go to one of these places, shouldn't we? This place or this random address? It depends. I'm going to be honest with you. I need sleep. I have work tomorrow as well. Although this is technically I'm part of the sleep. job. We need to get what we need out of him. And then either take him in to be questioned... Or something. You don't think he'd get in trouble? You don't think he'd... Isn't he from, like, a really wealthy family? I mean... Coming in saying that he's been hurt by a cop, I feel like... That's just a way to get yourself fired. There's this really handy thing called defending yourself. Again, isn't he super wealthy? It's kind get of an illegal hard. firearm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to defend yourself against having an illegal <clears throat> firearm that is clearly missing a quarter of the 250 round magazine. Okay. Well, if it's a good idea, then I say go for it. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see if the mime wants in by the end of this. I don't know. Um, right, let's wake him up. Yeah, and actually, you've already been rousing him at this point, mm -hmm. and so it's convenient that uh, Detective Verde has made that request, because yes, you have woken him up. And he's just kind of drowsy, and obviously he has the effects of pain on him. Uh, uh, where am I? Hello, Jed. How are you doing? Uh, Levi, help. <laughs> Verde gets really close to his face. There's no help for you here. Who's Levi? Uh, 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 you're alive? How, how did my children not get you? I told you. I'm really, really hard to kill. I, it's not possible. I oh, it's up. very possible. Um, the thing is, uh, you owe me a lot of money for ammunition, gas, trouble. <laughs> you know, the little things. You also owe me a lot of information. Um, uh, if you wanted to add something here, uh, Wrath, you can start approaching if you wanted to, because you hear some uh, loud talking coming up from the hill, uh, shouting from Verde. Um, yeah, I'll finish up my practice and... Grab my flask, yeah. grab my dog, and head up, head up the hill back to the uh, tree house cars, wherever they're at. They're up at the cars um, at the moment. Um, and he's in the I'm, bed of the truck, I should say. Uh, I'm all and, the cars. Yeah, so you're walking towards them. Um, and the guy looks at you, Verde. You're not sure he can see you fully, but he says, I'm not going to make it out of this alive. Their numbers are many. Our numbers are many. I'm going to die, probably. I get that, but 
Verde they will. Chuckles to himself. You know, they've been trying to kill me and my friends for a, a good good year, probably, wouldn't you say, Kingsman? A year? Uh, you're approaching up the hill, and, and you hear him saying the, those last few lines that please bring you in. Uh... What? See, you and your friends are so trivial, he doesn't even pay attention. He'll be forced to pay attention. My family. I can't afford to pay attention. Your family is halfway dead. Yes. Well, we still have firearms. We can take down even the biggest of your... Are, are you on the side of the mushroom take... people? Apparently we can take down the biggest you send us too. Yeah, we've got s- sniper NASA scientist person over here. So you're on the side of the mushroom people, then. Mushroom people? What the fuck? Verde, uh-oh, that gives you a flashback to Adventure 2. What many goddamn factions are there? At the, You do recall there were some weird mushroom-looking oh, yeah. monsters in the woods when you went to a squirrel bar in the woods. Yes, I just thought uh, all the monsters were on the same uh, faction. Yes. Now we're learning that they're not all on the same faction? Yeah. Verde just face palms. Why is there so many different factions of monsters in this town? Dude, everybody thinks they can have a team nowadays, I swear. Mm. This is All like right. that thing with the pirates where, like, anyone who got a ship just became a pirate crew. And Don't get me started on the lake pirates. <laughs> yeah, the, the <laughs> lake <laughs> pirates, of course. How can I forget you and your history with the lake pirates? There are a lot of lakes around here. Oh, so many lakes. They're all connected. Pirates, and they're all connected, but they're called different lakes, even though it's all one body of... Listen, man! Alright? Alright, so... I don't even know what we're talking about, but you should tell them everything you know right now, or else my dog will lick your feet until you die. Do you want to roll intimidation? Hell yeah. That's a surprisingly effective threat. I wink. Do I have intimidation? I do! Let's go! Intimidation and taunt are both skills you can use in combat, too. <clears throat> this is an FYI. And I get a free um, reroll if it fails. Uh, well, on, that's on persuasion rolls. Son of a bitch. Oh. Intimidation is not where your charisma shines. <laughs> that's fair. Would you like to use a... Benny. a... <laughs> intimidation. Five. You're dumb. Uh, I, 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 I grab Titan's collar and pretend to be like holding him back. Ooh, <laughs> oh. He's drooling. Um, but, um, and smiling. So is Titan. Okay, no. Uh, <laughs> I meant Titan. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, in his pain, he's like, <laughs> no, no, that's your puppy dog. He's so um, excited. Uh, no, no, he looks at you guys, you don't get it. Like, our fortress is so locked down, you'll drive in and be obliterated. <laughs> Even your mushroom people cannot break in to our brewery. Why does everybody assume that we're just going to drive into places? Well... <laughs> he looks at Kingsman. Because <laughs> <Right. laughs> you drove in and killed my children, you child killers. Your children are clay monsters that eat people. Do you have any comments, Doctor? Uh, that's the storyteller <laughs> asking. <laughs> yes. You look a little bit in shock over there. Yeah. I think the mushroom monsters just kind of blew her mind. <laughs> the comment about the squirrel bar was uh, out of nowhere. Uh, the mushroom monsters do not ring a bell. Yeah, she's probably seen the squirrel bar, though. Or heard of it, at least, I would imagine. Yeah, I'm going to say that's a free one. Uh, you don't know about the mushroom monsters, but you do hear mm-hmm. about uh, bars set up for um, small animals in the woods. It's sort of seen as more of a quaint like folk thing, almost like, uh, oh, yeah, we put a little door and we glued it to a, a stump and said it's it's for the elves of the land, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of thing. Um, little fairy houses. I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, fairy houses. I'm assuming we're still standing next to the truck. Yeah, you're all standing around you the truck. Be. I just climbed all the way back up here. 
Verde is going to grab his shotgun off the hood, turn it upside down, and start loading shotgun shells from the ones he's used so far. It's always good to be prepared, yeah. Well, this is more of a I'm losing patience with you kind of thing, if that makes sense. I'll reach over and point to his pistol. All right, so what if I told you we don't work for the mushrooms? Uh, it looks at you that why the fuck do you care? Three point. Because I mean, I'm just trying been to kill making all these monsters. clay monsters, and they've been trying to eat people. A ban. You've also been making illegal alcohol, but that's that's the lesser of the two evils at this point. <laughs> illegal alcohol? No, we don't even have a still. There's no laws we're breaking. Where are you getting you the sure alcohol? about that? Because you showed up to do an alcohol exchange. And we talked about a brewery. Yeah. But our brewery doesn't use any stills. We don't need any equipment that it would make it illegal. It's illegal. What is the alcohol? Does it have alcohol in it? Where does it come from? Where does it go? It comes from them. Come from okay, he seems to be in a severe pain at this point. Um, I country dance my way back down to the treehouse. <laughs> okay, fine, sure. <laughs> um, he seems to be in quite a bit of pain there. Um, and he says, "There's nothing we're doing that's wrong." Unless you're you, with those mushrooms. Your first freaks. instinct when you noticed somebody was at the farm was to start <clears throat> shooting. I've told me that we don't need attention. That people... And you thought started shooting wouldn't draw attention? That people like you would kill our children. And I came here after hearing from one of my children's own mouths that you killed. <clears throat> Good for you. Uh, it, it zoomed right on. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you're on the Overwatch. Uh, it, 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 it killed my children, and one of them was able to escape and tell me. Our gods will not look down on you with mercy. Okay. They will before you, punish before you. Before you continue your it's psychotic rant, um, question. Are the clay monsters you make and the clay monsters that were in the sewer in the Golden Ridge, are they the same thing? What? I, I don't know. The... Okay, do your the children, children eat people? The children of God are delivered to us. Do they eat people? No, the mushroom things eat people. My children are beautiful and are not dangerous. <sighs> okay, here's where the confusion comes from. We had some of the things that look like your things trying to eat people and steal people in Golden Ridge. You with me so far? No. Uh, you're you're starting to pick up though that uh, your assumptions are correct that perhaps these creatures are similar to the ones you found in Golden Ridge, and you're picking up that he does not, based on your investigator edge, of course, that he does not truly believe that they're monsters. I, I'd pick that up without the investigator. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> because it, we said that like he was in really dirty clothes and like he hadn't yes. been in the city for a long time. Right? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um. This is a moment where, uh, as you're getting frustrated and he's saying this, uh, Doctor, you're having a little bit of a spell here with your anemia. Can you roll your vigor for me? I know this isn't traditionally the time to roll it, so it's not a penalty. It's just a, a standard roll of vigor. Oh, five. Okay, you're fine for now. Uh, you're feeling a little dizzy. Um, there's something kind of scratching at your brain. And the word, or the words that scratch in your brain are, but not with hatred, though. Or, but not with hatred. Uh, I don't know if that means anything to you. I don't know if it means anything to me. Okay, so you're Maybe saying okay. that the things you make or are delivered to you, and the things that are trying, that were trying to eat people are not the same. He says, I don't know what you're talking about, but your monsters are not the same as mine. Well, then I apologize. But, you got to admit, something trying to hug you, air quotes, with long teeth 
claws and other sorts of things um, is not the most um, best first meeting. They didn't do anything wrong. You're a sick fuck. You sh You shot them. Says the guy that tried to shoot me. Killed my child. I came after you. Can't blame me for that. I kind of can. Uh, the mime's still up here with you guys. Notes, of course, and subtitles. They are not children. Oh, pick that up, did you? They are monsters. He is lying to you. He doesn't really see her subtitles, apparently, because he doesn't react. He's just still in, like, the bloody kind oh. of... <laughs> Verde kind of... Me? Yeah, there's blood splattered onto, like... Or, or, or the at least uh, their oozy black blood splattered onto the truck. Verde kind of just turns to the mime. I... I know they're monsters. He thinks... He's either lying to himself or really believes that they're children from something. He says, uh, it is easy sometimes to turn people who are weak of mind. What does that say about me and your relationship here? You oh, seem you, to are, you are not weak. I don't control you at all. And she turns yeah. to Dr. Iris. I don't control you either. She gestures towards King down in the field, uh, dancing, presumably still. Uh, and I have no control over him. I'm here merely to guide you towards what I believe and what my faction believes is salvation. You're doing a very, very good job of shining light at all the things trying to kill us. That is my job. It would be nice if you would do that, you know, before they tried to kill us, or give us a hint at what you're trying to do, instead of just pointing a bright light at something that I already know is trying to kill me. She, uh, thinks for a moment, and then nods. Yes, of course it would help. But that doesn't mean you're going to do it, does it? I help as soon as I can. All right. Verde's going to flip his phone open. Because, of course, yeah. he doesn't have an iPhone. <laughs> he, doesn't get paid. he doesn't get paid enough for that. Flips his razor open. <laughs> no, no, it's the it's the old Nextel push-button things. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the push-to-talk phones. Okay. He's going to... Uh, 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 of course, he's got the... Flip it open. Hit the... Uh... Call button? The, 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 the fast dial thing. Speed dial? Speed dial. Speed dial. That's brain no work. <laughs> uh, he's going to hit the speed dial for dispatch. All right. Uh, absolutely. Uh, dispatch picks up. What What did you want to convey to them? Um, Got a dude suspected, uh, suspected in smuggling alcohol, illegal alcohol, possession of illegal firearm. Uh, attempted uh, homicide. Uh, basically, I'm throwing the book at him. Yeah, for yeah. All the, yeah. It's hold of an officer. You yeah. will have to go back to get that alcohol evidence, but presumably it's still there. Well, at the what farm. I was hoping was they were going to send a patrol guy to go collect it all, since I'm indisposed. Uh, would you like to drive him back to that area you guys came from, then? Well, I gotta go get my car anyways. Yeah. It might be better to wait till daylight for that. Alright, I'll I'll let dispatch know that we had to uh, leave due to unforeseen circumstances from the area and that they should send a patrol unit as soon as they have one available. The dispatch is a little confused and says uh were are there more people there? There was a incident with some wild animals that uh, did not appreciate us in the area. Ah, uh, yes, they. We've been having a raccoon problem, as you know. Uh, we will send, yeah. we will send out some officers to explore that as soon as possible. Appreciate a dispatch. Called them in. Um, 
what would you guys like to do going forward? You have this guy, of course, Jed Yuskowski, in the back of your truck. and uh, He's um, also handcuffed now. Yeah, he's definitely handcuffed. All right, um, you mind if I borrow your truck to take this guy to the hospital? Well, I mean, shouldn't we all go back? Or is, is this place safe? I mean, we're kind of just at a treehouse. Remember that way. conversation we had a minute ago about trust? Yeah, but I'm not going to trust someone blindly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was the advice, yep. Why do you think we came here? Because we needed to leave. Because we would die otherwise. Because I mean, this is where we the mind really lives. Choice. Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> Are you getting the message I'm trying to send? <laughs> the mime like shrugs and says in her subtitles, I don't live here. Okay. This is a waiting point to find you guys. Alright, cool. Whatever. Okay. Uh, so it's like a we just need to get back to town, to be completely honest with you. I, well, then we should all go, right? I'm not saying we all shouldn't go. I was just asking if we could make a detour to the hospital or drop this guy off. I mean, definitely. Appreciate the mime says, oh. I'll, I'll go grab King then. And she goes down dancing on her way to him. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> not dead at <laughs> yeah, not that I'm sleeping. He's dancing around and then he just falls over sleeping. Um, I went up to the treehouse to the keep mind, watch. Mind just snaps her face. That's right. That's right. To sleep. <laughs> she she goes down to uh, the the treehouse where you're doing. I'm Overwatch. not dealing with this. I honestly thought your Overwatch would be good and you would be awake, but goes down to get him dancing along the way and he's dead. What a line. <laughs> <laughs> and he's dead. Uh, no, you, you, you're you're awake, I presume enough. This is going on the wiki. <laughs> Fine, I'll be awake. Yeah. Um. And she gestures, and you see the subtitles. We're leaving now. Please come with us, King. I thought you said I was, should be on my own. I said it was good that you were training. Hmm. For the times when you are forced to be on your own. Where are they off to? Town. Hmm. No, oh, knows about this strange part, town right? of Golden Ridge. No, I okay. I knew what town. <laughs> no one knows about this spot, right? Could sleep here for the night. You could. Be safer. What? What? What'd you say? You definitely. You guys have a bit of a distance here, and you're a. Uh, if you'd like to shout, you can you can yell from your distance, and he'll probably hear you. No. Well, he knows that we're playing on the so. Yeah, yeah, you, you can probably see that they're both standing no, next to the truck, you. looking at you, King. I look to the man. And why are we okay? So we're just okay. F fine, I'll whistle. Wait, tighten up. I'm gonna go climb into the back of the truck and go to sleep. All right, uh, so we're all getting into the vehicle, um, you, and you're cuddling your dog in the back of the truck. Um, I'm picking up next, on my, my role playing. I like it. I'm not dead this Next time. to a heavily injured bloody man. That's fine. <laughs> who's handcuffed. Classic. And he like bumps into you a couple times, but um, otherwise, yeah. Uh, so you guys are able to make it back into town. Um, with the information you have, with the hostage you have, you can bring him to the hospital and process him. Through your job of investigating the peculiar alcohol, peculiar alcohol, it should alcohol. be easier to say. Um, yeah. Um, so let's just throw you guys back. I really hope you don't have to reload this every single. Okay, excellent. Yep, I'm in. Um, <clears throat> so I'll throw you all down over um here. I'm gonna put you on the map, uh, my comrade. Uh, iris moments right now okay that's weird when i was drawing it it was like okay no you don't get to sit <laughs> on the uh that's where the hospital is generally in the town it's the emergency room it's not like an official big hospital there's one in the bigger part of the town 
Um, well, I should say the bigger town that's nearby, the neighbor city. Um, but there is an emergency room where you can bring people um, and w- that we have been to before in the first episode or first session. Sorry, first adventure where uh, Detective Verde was injured by one of these monsters. One of them bit in your neck and ripped out a little bit of your skin with their yeah, jagged, joy. creepy teeth. That and that's when, you, that's when you started seeing the mimes mm-hmm. for the first time. Wasn't it? Mm. Um, but yeah, you're able to come here and drop off this person. Um, you can get them processed and like the, the nurses will take care of it. You can be like a which, uh, police department of business. Uh, there's the information case number. You can process that. Is there anything additional beyond that that you want to do here at the hospital? Um, like you're bringing them in. Some of you are probably in the waiting room. Uh, Detective Faraday is probably at the front desk handling it. Some of you might be at the truck sleeping with the dog. Sorry, apparently I sent us to the starting soon screen. Go ahead, continue. Um, and the question is, is there anything that you guys want to do? Um, okay, I got that, Raph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kingsman died. <laughs> um, Iris, is there anything that you want to do here? Um, at the hospital, or do you want to uh, wait for it to be over? I think I'll wait. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is actually introducing myself to Kingsman, because I don't even know his name at this point. No, um, you guys are like, let's, we should all introduce Kingsman. ourselves. You two introduced yourselves, and then you just moved on. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Kingsman was down <laughs> shooting guns. Yeah. I don't think that, no, I think this was when I was still there. And then we later decided that you were down shooting guns. Fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, you could introduce yourself to him. He's in the back, uh, passed out in your truck. Your truck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they didn't even bring me inside. Yeah, I'm just still, still outside in, in the night. <laughs> just sit in the driver's seat, done letting Verde drive her car. All right. So, uh, okay. and how about Detective Verde? Is there anything you want to add, or do you just want to process this and move past the hospital? Um, I'm assuming there's security guys here. Uh, yeah, there's there's probably a few security guys. Uh, I'm gonna ask one or two of them to, you know, watch his room since he is technically under arrest. He's handcuffed to his bed, but you know, safe, better safe than sorry. Yeah, yeah, and then one of them says that uh, we can make sure to restrict any access people have coming in. I appreciate it. Um. Watch out for raccoons. They uh, give you weird glances and then say, uh, yeah, I guess if they waddle their way in here, we'll take care of any trash pandas. Good man. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, presumably you guys had all, you're all back out to the truck. Is the goal here to do anything further in this night at 3 a.m. or so? Uh, maybe, um, actually, we're probably more at, like, 1.30 a.m., um, day shift doesn't get in until five, so that sergeant isn't going to be available to talk to yet. Did we not pass by the other cars? Like, didn't we go down the road of the farmhouse, or did we go a different way? You had to go a different way. You would have to backtrack okay. quite a bit to go back and retrieve your vehicles, which you can do tomorrow, certainly. Um, Thanks. I'm just trying to figure out whether you guys want to do anything more tonight, or if you're ready to go drop people back home and then go to your respective sleeping areas. Uh, Verde walks up to Daisy, or not Daisy, Iris. Iris. Dr. Iris. And holds out a piece of paper. Dr. Sniper Iris. This is my phone number, if you need me. Call me, I guess. 911. <laughs> 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 no, no. Yeah, I assume it's actually your number. <laughs> I like that. So, either call this number, call nine one one, whatever you think is best. But um, yeah, if you <laughs> that <laughs> if you do call nine one one, make sure it's something believable. Otherwise, they'll just say it's so a record. Okay. So I say raccoons. Verde told me to! No, don't don't say <laughs> raccoons. They won't show up. Ah, so it's another something creature. Just just say you're getting robbed or something. Okay. 
and that it's over a thousand dollars. Okay. And they have a gun. And their name is King. Oh, hey, hang on. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you don't say any, if you don't say that stuff, then it'll be three years before somebody shows up to take a statement. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I don't have high expectations for a PD. I appreciate okay. your vote of confidence. <laughs> no fun. All right. Um, I'm either going to need to walk back to my house or ask you to give me a ride. Either works, I, I suppose. Or I'll just walk down to the office and go to sleep in the office. Wouldn't be the first time. We can drive you both. It would be good to know where you live as well in case I can't reach I you, I guess. It. I need to... Someone's still asleep in the back, right? Yeah, but sleep? Verde knows where he lives. <laughs> okay. So um, we, well, I'm going to make... Well, I'm going to grab the Roomba out of, out of Kingsman's bag. It's, you lost the Roomba. Yeah, the Roomba's that got thrown. I, I, I thought he only threw the Claymore. I didn't know he no, threw the whole No, I threw the whole kitty. Okay. Yep, <laughs> threw the whole kitty. Uh, so I'm going to fast forward through this. I'm presuming then that um, what happens is Dr. Iris drives home uh, Verde. <laughs> you're, able to, you're, you're able to uh, get back into your, your house. Nobody's active out on the street. Um, and then, Doctor, you drive back to your home, where you are informed is across the street from where your um, passed out comrade is is at. And you're able to, like, pull the keys out of his pocket. You lumber him into his room, throw him on his bed, <laughs> Titan dances around, and seems very excited about this. I'm very much Flops. awake at this point, but I just let her do it. I'm just like, oh, yeah, and I pretend to still be asleep. And Titan thinks it's hilarious. And so Titan <laughs> just flops down on top of you at the end of it. Perfect. Like a, like, just hard just standing and then <gasps> flop you can tell i'm very much awake as i go <gasps> <laughs> and you're able to go back to your apartment of course uh closing and locking his door behind him so that his joke is buried with him and uh that concludes okay. the uh the, this session i think um we only have a few minutes to spend so i figured we should wrap this up you are all in your respective areas of living i'm gonna move everybody kind of generally where that should be you guys are right across the street from each other, so it's a little hard, but you know where you are. And why, why down there? Uh, because uh, you, you got in bed Titan. and Titan, Titan's in Titan. my house. <laughs> Verde and I, King I wake snuggle up, up to each other. Verde, I'm like, what? <laughs> Verde dances excited on the bed. <laughs> oh, that's no. where all my stuff went. Verde flops over on top of me. Yeah, no, no Iris no, is no. very confused. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, 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 it's, 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 I just moved the wrong tokens. <laughs> um, so we'll wrap up this session. As you guys have gained more knowledge of what's going on with peculiar alcohol, you have an address now to go to, mysteriously, or look up and research. You know somebody who's strange and wants to get themselves involved in this. Uh, old man in the coffee shop? Kind of sounds like a weird man looking for strange alcohol at a bar. But Mr. we Wolf won't know. Him. We... Mi <laughs> bum, bum, bum. we won't know until next session so uh that's all from me i guess it's time for our outro here thank you guys for showing up hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode if you did leave a like and you guys are always more than welcome to comment all the questions comments concerns and anything and we will get to it on the next episode of under the table that hopefully we'll have tomorrow we'll discuss it in the discord um beyond that um subscribe to see more uh we're continuing on with uh Strange Giant Golden Ridge, when this uh, uh, series does wrap up, we will be resuming the series called King's Crossing. If you guys don't know about that, you have plenty of time to go watch through the episodes all on YouTube. Um, that's all I got for this one. Thank you guys for joining. We will see you in the next episode. Later. Adios. Goodbye. I love you. Say an outro, Daisy. You tell them. Nailed you hate it. Them. Temper it. Temper it with <laughs> hatred. No, 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 I gotta make dinner for my wife. Nope, we're back. Go, waiting go Daisy, go! No! Shh! Go, Daisy. Sorry. I do stuff on YouTube and Twitch at uh, Spirit of Spring. Those spaces. Um, I post, like, video game stuff. I do streams. I'm here. Yeah. That's mostly what I do. Okay, now that's it. Okay, bye.